Whoa. Oh. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's part of the multimedia display they've got going on. Uh-huh. When you walk in. All right. Oh, it's unbelievable. There's just like this big air compressor there. It blows farts at people. <laughs> wow. Do Somebody... they smell? Oh, it smells awful. Uh, <laughs> the only way we really make money is uh, through our concession area. <laughs> really? Yeah, we... well, what do you sell there? Well, we rent raincoats for the back part of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, uh, what, does it have, what's the atmosphere like there? Is it real the thick? atmosphere? <laughs> Sounds <laughs> thick. Oh, man. Humid and cloudy. <laughs> now, do you have, uh, is your is your fart museum primarily contemporary, or is it modern, or do you have classical pieces? Uh, mostly fart deco. Oh. Really? Oh, okay. It's style, and uh, while I got... Excuse me! Oh, boy, do you work here? Yeah, I work here. My family and I would like to get our money back. <laughs> 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 what was that? Uh, that was uh, our tribute to uh, all the little people that played the munchkins. <laughs> Let me uh, take you into this one room. Okay. Uh, I want to want to show you what's going on here. All right. What's in there? Oh God. <laughs> what is it? Which room are you in? Oh, it's the SBD room. Oh boy. Silent but deadly. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. I gotta go because, uh, man, this is unbelievable. <laughs> we gotta. This is like the third time this month already. Uh huh. We gotta re wallpaper. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. Say, where are you guys located? We're, uh, we're in Brownsville, Texas. <laughs> You're looking for somewhere to take the kids. Brownsville, Texas, the Fart Museum. God, it's amazing. It's our recommendation. Well, good morning. <laughs> it's the Bob and Tom Show. Whoa, whoa. Christy's here at the news desk. Hello. Your shirt hurts my eyes. Sorry about that. Make my eyes go cross. Well, then don't look at me. You never tight, do anyway. Tight checks. <laughs> tight, tight checks. Yeah. There's uh, Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. Uh, he, he put a hat on. He ruined it. There's Josh Arnold. Hey, Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom, oh, there you go. Tom Griswold. I thought we were going to de debut the hair. There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's yeah. Pat's, Pat Smear from the Germs and the Foo <laughs> Fighters. Unbelievable. <laughs> I do look like He looks exactly like Pat Smear. You look great, Pat. Oh, thanks. I yeah, that one's growing out a little bit. looks very nice. You, and you, uh, you're correct. Uh, right? Does remember. Does the coloring, the gray hair and the dark eyebrows. That's uh, really... I assume Pat Smear is a stage name. No, no. No, yeah. that's, uh, <laughs> the, that's Hampton, a guitar player. the Hampton Smears. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, uh, Pat, I got an uh, early morning assignment for you. Oh, boy. Uh, you'll need a little time to get. I just uh, got this organized, so I'm sorry to not let you know. Um, we had a story yesterday about, uh, I'm, I'm already very excited about the Olympics in France. Mm -hmm. Really? It's, oh, it's going to be cool. And I'm particularly excited about the swimming trials. In America, the, for the swimming, they're going to do them in a stadium. They're building a pool. It's just amazing. And then when they get to France, some of the events are going to take place apparently in the Seine. But uh, uh, Paris is doing a lot to get ready for the games, of course. Mm -hmm. And I can only imagine they're going to be sp uh, quite a spectacle. But the headline yesterday, and I'll read this verbatim, France races to stamp out bed bug scourge before Olympics. Now, Pat, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, you did a tribute I'll give you a few minutes to dig this up. Um, do you remember the the uh, bed scandal at the last Olympics? I do, yeah. It was cardboard. Weren't they yes. cardboard beds? Yeah. Very, very good. Both of you got the right answer. Um, here's a, an article about that. Uh, athletes had apparently expressed concern over the beds because they were, in fact, made of cardboard. However, the Olympic Committee said that the beds can hold up to 440 pounds as long as athletes stick to only two people in a bed, they should be strong enough to support the load. Right. Um, so we, we had a bed issue then. The issue now is apparently one in ten beds in France has bed bugs. 
as a, 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 a sort of a national infestation. Got to be higher, right? Uh, well, the uh, Prime Minister, Elizabeth Bourne, says the state urgently needs to put it in an action plan against the bed bugs as France prepares for the uh, summer games in 2024. But, uh, uh, Pat, if you want to get that organized over there. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I got it. Yeah. Okay, you got it already? Yeah, yeah I found Man, it. Man, you're quick. Look yeah. at that. So this is, this is about the cardboard bags. You remember Tokyo? A mattress should support you, no. But a cardboard bed can't hold nine grown adults. Are you kidding me? I think it's anti-sex. Meant to deter both she and he. Him and her, she and she, playing volleyball. In the steamy heat, guess who hooks up? Olympic athlete. We can't get it on when our bed is cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> One good thrust and we fall to the floor. She can't get on top of a cardboard mattress. Even if your partner's in gymnastics. <laughs> How do we when our bed is cardboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sort of were remembered. Uh, only two per bed. Uh, and a uh, nice tribute to a great Australian band. But uh, the, so the, uh, we'll see what happens. I wonder if they can do the cardboard beds again. That was a part of the whole recycling. I guess. Yeah. Because they're trying to keep the... I, I mean, doubt they're going to do that. You hear the term cardboard, though, and you don't think they're... Sturdy. You know, foundationally sound. I know you have a cardboard. It's good stuff. I, I did hear the... <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I, I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here because of cardboard. <laughs> when was the last time you slept in an Amazon box? <laughs> uh, I think it is. Uh, I, I, you could stack it up. I've got a lot of cardboard I'm recycling in my garage right now. I, I bet. Had, I had no idea that my, uh, my life would be... Pretty much consumed by tearing down boxes. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. I, I don't know the numbers, but obviously with uh, the with online shopping the way it is, cardboard has to be. Oh, it's a growth industry. I mean, it's it got to be. be huge. Yeah. Um, I hear that they're they're doing the, con the Olympic condoms again, but they're they're recycling zip bags. Ziploc bag? You, no, they they're the, not. Oh, well, they're not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Ziploc bag? Yeah, yeah. Think everybody's ever done that? Recycled Ziploc bags? No, no, in a, in a moment of desperation. Just oh, you just got no. Possibly. Bag. Yeah, well, Saran I, wrap? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I think I'd go with the wrap before I'd go with the bag. Yeah. There's, there's a will, there's a way, but I would imagine it would <laughs> come right off, I would think. You should do it, do it the proper way. Remember, honey, yellow and blue make green. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I mean, do it the right way. Go get a go get a Pepsi and shake uh, it up. Stop and, That's right. That, that's always good. Shake it up. Yeah, that's one of the places that Pepsi over Coke, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Pepsi's more po effective? Po Postcoital uh, douche. I read that somewhere. <laughs> I think it was on the bathroom wall. I've heard Coke is more effective. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. oh I forget which one. I... Hey, uh, <laughs> that was an odd Pepsi challenge at the mall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you heard uh, Godwin uh, try to uh, crowbar a Taylor Swift reference in there with yeah, the shake yeah. off. Uh, apparently... Huge. Uh, this is just me. I'm just reporting. I'm not. I'm not offering any opinions. Okay. So don't get upset at me. But if, uh, evidently, the NFL is a little bit gun shy about mentioning Taylor Swift from here on out. Apparently, it's the backlash has begun. Too much Taylor. Not enough football. Not enough football. And a lot of it is that the uh, the Chiefs evidently pull that game out and win the other night because there was an egregious holding call on the Chiefs that was not called, and ergo. They think because Taylor's cheering for Travis and the Chiefs... That it's affecting the rest? That the NFL did not call the holding call because... Whoa! It's a, it would have been against Taylor's team. Oh. That's, that's, wow! I'm just telling right. you. Well, that's check, right. that's check the Jets ref, fans. The refs had her birthday on their jerseys. Did you, did you hear that? I did not hear that. Yep. They went to her 17 times that night while the game was on. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the uh, the ratings are out for the Chiefs Jeffs on Sunday night. Uh, their initial reports were that it was uh, uh, ratings were lower, like four by like four million people. But apparently, that was just a report from TMZ. 
Uh, officially, Chiefs Jets Thriller, it says, this is from NBC, is the most watched Sunday show since Super Bowl 52. 27 million viewers on Sunday night, which is a little bit higher than wow. their previous Chiefs. Uh, and nowadays, ratings like that for a network television show is uh, unheard of. Crazy high. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, well, so, so we do have some legit sports coming up. Non, sure, we non, had a we had a Taylor Swift sports. We had a Monday night football game last night, and uh, the Seahawks win twenty four three. Daniel Jones of the uh, New York Giants, uh, Seahawks twenty four, Giants three. Daniel Jones did not have a very good game. Is uh, a colossal understatement. The Seahawks uh, sacked Jones eleven times during the game. Hmm, I wonder what Jones had to say about that. <laughs> Hey, fellas, you want to uh, tighten it up a little bit? Any effort would be appreciated. Yeah. These, these big guys are yeah. ramming my shoe up my ass. Had a, uh, Devin uh, Witherspoon, the fifth pick overall uh, in the draft for the Seahawks, he returned a uh, pick six, 97 yards for a touchdown. It was quite. Wow. Uh, it wow. was quite. And we'll have uh, some comments from the Manning brothers. They were on the Manning cast last night on ESPN. They were, as you might uh, imagine, Eli Manning very upset with quarterback play on behalf of his New York Giants mm -hmm. last night while they were broadcasting, yes. Uh, also uh, coming up today, we have a uh, caveman in the news. We have a very elderly woman skydiving. Big news on the syphilis front. Uh, and um, <laughs> Everybody be quiet. Yeah, uh, also a huge coffee survey. And um, a lot of other delightful things happening in the news. And uh, I, I, the headline should read, Grandma Was Right. Mm. I'll tell you why. That's happening. Coming up, also I'll urge you to enter. Let's see now. It will be week five of the NFL season. Yes. Coming up this week. So it starts I'm Thursday. Night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how do we erase this? Nope. I turned it off. I, uh, I didn't play it yesterday, just to hope that you think we erased it. <laughs> okay. I'll erase it. It lives. Um, that's, it lives. That has nothing to do with the pigskin pick'em, um, which is uh, where what you, you go. What do you mean? It's the intro. The pigskin pick'em is the intro. You go to um, bobandtom.com slash contest and uh, pick all the winners for week five. The, the, the week five begins officially Thursday night. And uh, you could be a big winner. We'll be announcing the winner of uh, week four a little bit later on this morning, I would think. We'll see. Maybe tomorrow. We have to go through all these entries. But uh, you can make, pick your winners, and it's, you don't have to go against the spread or anything. It's a lot of fun. And at stake, of course, is the Big Green Egg Mini Max. Right now, the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. Do you feel like your brain is getting in the way of you? Sometimes it's hard to sleep. There's so much stuff going through your brain. And uh, maybe this is where some therapy would be helpful. And BetterHelp takes contemporary technology to assist you with therapy. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about getting hooked up with a licensed professional therapist by uh, taking a brief questionnaire. This is all done online. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. And then the therapy itself is done online. You can go back and forth uh, like it's a Zoom call or like a phone call or even texting back and forth. What this is all about is convenience, getting the uh, the help that you would get from therapy and making it uh, essentially very convenient. You don't have to drive anywhere or go to a special place. Uh, find out all the details at betterhelp.com slash BT show. Add that BT show part to knock 10% off your first month. So help um, help your brain become your friend with better help. That's better help, H E L P, betterhelp.com slash BT show to get on your way to being your best self. Find out what's maybe holding you back. And uh, for you to help other people, you got to make sure that you're doing fine. Once again, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Also, coming up, we have um, a cool world record. Could have been fatal. Hmm. Maybe it was. And, <laughs> and AI, meets, AI meets Hollywood. You don't think it could have been fatal? And a mascot on the injured list. Oh, That okay. happens. It happens. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, good. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. This is Jimmy Pardo. You are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Yeah, you are, and good. Mm. 
it's literally just water. I, uh... Mouth it. Mouth it? Has, has that been throwing you guys off? Like, I've been told that when I drink out of bottles that I really, like, wrap my whole mouth around them or whatever. And I'll be honest, I have no idea what people are talking about. How we doing, fellas? Chores, black bonnet girls, you make the Amish world go round.
Interesting at its best. <laughs> Christy Lee at the news desk. Ah, shut up. There's Pat Godwin. <laughs> Hi. Playing guitar for the Foo Fighters today. <laughs> There's Josh Arnold. It looks rad, man. Doesn't it? I love it. I'm just glad to be here alive today. Why? Tom almost ran me over in the parking lot. I believe Tom. It. I absolutely Tom. believe it. You make it look like an accident? <laughs> yeah. It was early. Even with his shiny hair, you couldn't <laughs> see him? Get a hat on. Like a Q-tip in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> like a Q-tip in the dark. You know, once you make that turn, we got a long driveway here. You can you can gas it up there. That is a bad song. Rainbow, Rainbow in the Dark? Rainbow in the Dark? Oh, God, that's a bad song. You mean cool. <laughs> he does mean cool. He can't. He can't mean bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chick, and here's Tom. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, uh, coming up... La in the <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty... Boy, it's pretty oh, ham-fisted. Ronnie James ah! Dio right there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Are we done with the Ronnie James Dio right. segment? We're never done with Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> He's dead, right? He Nothing new athlete. coming out, he right? Is? Okay, good. Shorter than Christy? Is he? He's, He's, he was really, really small fellow. Really tiny guy, yeah. No problem there, though. We had a chance to talk to him. He's a really interesting, nice guy. Yeah, I would love yeah. to have met him. Uh, now, uh, we will move forward here. Uh, we have a lot of interesting things coming up. We also have sports. Uh, Hang on a second. That seemed like a shot. Let's Ooh, let's yeah. go back over what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was it? We have some interesting We have things? some really interesting stuff coming up. I'm very excited about it. We, uh -huh. we also have some sports. <laughs> uh, rookie cornerback, Devon, uh, Devin Witherspoon. Devon, Devin Witherspoon uh, of uh, Shampoo Banana, University of Illinois. 97-yard uh, interception return for a touchdown last night in the third quarter of the Seahawks. Uh, have 11 sacks and the Giants uh, hapless last night. Seattle winning 24 to three uh, over the uh, New York Giants. Um, not very, not a very good showing for the Giants. And, last and night, uh, former Giant uh, Eli Manning commenting quite a bit. That's exactly right. Last night on the uh, on the Manning cast, uh, actually Eli said at one point to Peyton. Uh, Hey, I thought Taylor Swift was going to be at this game. Isn't she at all the <laughs> New York football games? And it was 14-3 to right before halftime. And Peyton goes, if Taylor Swift was here, she left by now. Is oh, what, is what oh nice. Oh, Hilarious. Yeah. It was not, uh, it was not <laughs> a good It's supposed to be networks. Not, not, real, not real pleased when they say that. Yeah. Uh, the NFL also yesterday on their Instagram, evidently they're getting backlash from too much Taylor Swift coverage. Uh, according to a report on their Instagram page, NFL tweet, or put out on their Instagram, the Chiefs are 2-0 and as Swifties, is what the NFL put on their Instagram. Uh, later, they took it down, deleting the Swifty comment, and just said the Chiefs are 2-0. Are, uh, and uh, in in New York is what they is what oh. they put up there with the uh, yeah, enough. Uh, enough 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 is enough yeah. yeah so there you go apparently but this is uh, somebody should uh, make some sort of a study of this this is uh, an interesting uh, phenomenon no it's uh, anthropological what people do to uh, yeah. tr trends like this and Taylor's at the game this is listomania I mean it's it, this is listomania yeah Taylor's yeah. at the game this is exciting Taylor's at the game this is exciting shut up about Taylor see we're there see I Isn't see what you say. You build that, people up and then you yeah, knock them all down. That's what we the, do. The people are. Oh, that's what this culture loves to do. Oh, hell yeah. They're also the, they're getting spears. I mean, look at yeah. the Super Bowl halftime. It's They, they want to get people that aren't going to watch football to watch football. And we have so little commonality in our culture. You know, the top 100 television shows every year are NFL and college football games, typically. Uh, so, you know, they're but now they're getting even more people. Look, look at the thing with the Toy Story. They're getting little kids to watch the NFL. I still uh, am amazed at how they do that. Yeah, what we're talking about, do you want to explain it one more time? They had a chip in uh, all the players uh, at the London game this week between the Jaguars and the Falcons. There's a ch chip in their shoulder. Are you <laughs> wiping your mic stand down while I'm talking? <laughs> Will you not do that? <laughs> That's why he wanted you to tell them. I know. So I'm he busy. Busy. Clean his... <laughs> I got to clean my mic stand. <laughs> the Talk. Of America has to be... <laughs> 
Uh, Court to tears. Jaguars and Falcons who are in London. Dust away. Part of the. Uh, <laughs> so you don't like the Toy Story thing? Uh, it was fine. They I had mean, a chip we in the spent a good twenty minutes. Oh, on you're yesterday. just upset because they didn't put a chip in the uniform. They just used the one that they put in the vaccine. What's that? Oh man! <laughs> you know, if they could put a chip in shoulder pads, man, and broadcast seconds later <laughs> around the world, pretty That's right. much. Uh, We've all got ah. chips in us. It's too late, man. Yeah. You know, you know, they, if you've got an iPhone, they know where you are. Heck yeah. The genie's out of the bottle, kids. Okay. But yeah. anyway, yeah. it was almost instantaneous. The uh, animation matched up to the live action just because they had chips in the shoulder pads of the players. It was fascinating. It's pretty Great. cool, yeah. But the, the best part about the Toy Story presentation was the first down marker, 10, 10 yards, was the Slinky Dog. That and is inspired. <laughs> it was, that's, that's, that's wonderful. just Terrific. wonderfully funny. And we yeah. have um, uh, Toy Story news actually coming up in a way. And oh, yeah? Really? Yeah, we have not I don't want to do it now. We have Would it be really... Toy Story 5 or 6? No, no. Uh, Toy Story, uh, the, the fine actor Tom Hanks is actually in the news this morning. Ah. That yeah. That involves uh, something. Well, we'll see about it. Okay. Anyway, Ch uh, Chiefs and Jets, uh, Sunday night, most watched Sunday show. NBC released these numbers uh, yesterday. Since Super Bowl 52, it averaged 27 million viewers. And one... You know, in a weird way, Swift is a... It's sort of an innocent bystander. It, 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 she's not really... She doesn't, she's not going to these games asking for all that publicity. However... No matter what Christy Lee says. The official stance... <laughs> uh, all of, right. ...of the Bob and Tom show. Uh, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Ace... They're not dating. They are not dating. Well, my girls weighed in on this last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they, they're they like, ah, we think they're friends, but yeah. nah, yeah. we don't think they're can, dating either. Can I vote either. how much I don't care? Okay. Next. <laughs> I, oh, boy. I, I, don't, think, believe, I don't believe I you for a second. There's, I think did you, did, have you just, he has gone, you have gone from, I don't want to hear about it, I don't want to hear about it, tell me everything about it, tell yep. me everything about it, back to, I don't want to hear about He's it. He's completely untrustworthy when it comes to these guys. <laughs> yep. You know how? You know how we, you and I, trust Lester? You're you're that same way, only the exact opposite. I don't trust you. If you come on my TV at 6.30 Eastern and tell me the news, I don't trust a word you're saying. Oh, that's fine. You, you still trust Lester? Oh, Remember yeah. he wasn't he standing in the heart of North Korea and he looked around and went, this place ain't so bad. You <laughs> Remember uh, that? Uh, Did he really? Uh, yes. Uh, you uh. shut your dirty mouth about Lester. <laughs> Not he a lot of just, folks look like me around here. Oh, he they're just trying they're, to get along. They're, they're locked up uh, over there in wow. the starving ward, Lester. <laughs> <sighs> boy, oh boy. You no, I'm just saying, I don't no care fun. about that. The, the thing is, my little girls who are Taylor Swifties are, you know, they're, they're, they're actually interested in football suddenly. That's what's happening. We, I, I, I mean, are they really interested? They have no, their favorite no, team? no they're, they're they just want to see her. I think they're together. But right. the the good news is... Well, you're wrong, Pat. I'm sorry. They are three stoops in. The good yeah. news is the Jets actually three? didn't I embarrass so. themselves. The Jets damn near won that game. And that's starting to have a backlash. People, uh, NFL experts saying how bad the Jets quarterback is, Zach Wilson, because Aaron Rodgers is injured, yada, yada. And Zach had a good game. And Zach had a decent game, and people were trying to... Uh, Probably. Rodney Harrison, I'm looking at you, you piece of jerk. And uh, he tried... Rodney Harrison tried to get uh, players to call him garbage live on the air on NBC, and uh, Rodney Harrison is experiencing some backlash. Wow. You can't say that about... I mean... No. Can't make Why, anybody yeah. happy anymore. He's a human. Zach's a human. He's flesh and blood. He, 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 he cut him, doesn't he bleed? Yes. He's sad. He cries. It's Zach Wilson. Come on. I like uh, What I like is the he fact... He likes that, MILFs. He can't be all bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're finally starting to, uh, as the season progresses, when these guys, these commentators, they, they pick the games, um, they're finally starting to show the results. Say, oh, hey, I look. think you're trying. Yeah, I think you're finally paying attention. <laughs> is what is what's going on? They've all they've always showed. Well, back in the day, they never they didn't come back and go. Hey, we got Jimmy the Greek. Hey, last week, Greek, you uh, <laughs> you bit it. They, they they would never give his actual score. If you know what I mean. Yeah, one could make a very nice living uh, picking exactly the opposite of what you feel like picking. I'm I'm proof. I would be twenty and ten right now if I had picked Sorry, exactly I didn't opposite personal of the season. No, no, it's, I appreciate it, Tom. Why don't you go back to <laughs> cleaning the undercarriage of your balls over there? We have Maybe we have that coming up in the news. But that that does remind me, picking the games if you want to have some fun without even thinking about Wait a the, minute. the spread. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm changing the name of the whole promotion just to get rid of that. Um, Pigskin Pick'em! Pigskin Pick'em. <laughs> week 5 begins Thursday night, so get your entries in right now. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest. At stake, once again, the Big Green Egg Mini Max. Our winner from week 3 was Ms. Alex Virgil. And uh, we'll have our week four winner coming up. Uh, they'll get that sorted out probably by today. And um, Thursday night, uh, Chicago at Washington. The uh, Washington football team gets that loss out of the week early, so we can concentrate on <laughs> Sunday. I see. Your favorite team. Okay, great. anyway, just pick the winners. You don't even have to go with the spread. Have some fun. You could win yourself the big green egg mini max. Go, go now. It. Go pick now. You know what uh, they say. Think long, think wrong. Go there and pick the games right now and okay. shoot them into us. All right. Uh, fans of the Butler University Bulldogs in Indianapolis, Indiana, will not see a familiar face on the sidelines at upcoming athletic events. The team's mascot, Butler Blue the Fourth. Yesterday it was announced the 65-pound English Bulldog mascot will be sidelined in the coming weeks due to a leg injury. Aww. That's right. Butler Blue the Fourth has suffered a tear in his canine cruciate ligament. Oh, my I, God. That happened to me once. The <clears throat> CCL, you don't have one. Oh. Uh, the CCL <laughs> is the dog equivalent to the anterior. And uh, I believe both ligament. Christy and I have paid thousands of thousands dollars. Thousands and thousands of repair, dollars. Repair, repair I have on a, a dog. dog who had two of them done. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys are abusive to your pets. Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, no. Christy Lee, does In this case, my pet got hit by a garbage truck. Well, they take, in my man, case. Keep funny. them away from the garbage truck. Tell me more about that. What happened? You're out there? Uh, it was a, It was four in the morning, and I was out in my neighborhood where there's Do you milk. not have the dogs on leashes? Why in the hell was no. a garbage truck out at it's four in the morning? It's going to be owner negligence. Always yeah. been my question. Oh, oh, yeah, it's owner negligence. Wow. In any you event. You don't see those trucks in the morning? I see him leaving. Not at four in not the morning. Four yeah. in the morning. Oh, some play trashmen are like Navy SEALs, man. They're yeah. up crazy early. They're business to <laughs> I get that. It was just, a, it's a long story, but the dog was fine. I must live in a. Uh, yeah, Leo's doing great. He jumped on the bed the other day. It was great. A better ni uh, neighborhood. I, my, my trash people come at 1 2 o'clock. Oh, you live in a Like a normal oh, person. Not, not residential. <laughs> visit. Like a just normal business. person. Oh, it's not residential. No, no. Well, define your terms, legend. <laughs> I saw two trucks on a boat. Oh, this legend, morning. icon. Define your terms, will you? Could we get back to school? Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our good boy, Blue, has been sidelined with the ACL tear. Is he having the TPL surgery? Uh, yeah, he's going to be out for six to eight weeks. I yep, think. he's having it. That's right. <laughs> uh, any good vibes we can send that bulldog would yeah. be appreciated. Couldn't they get like a... They have a great surgery. Don't they have a depth chart? Don't they have a... I mean, it's not, like, would, it not like the bulldog does a lot of tricks. Couldn't they just get another <laughs> bulldog? I, I've got a friend that has one of those. They could just borrow them. be funnier if they it's just not, got... Perhaps. Be, what never they, tell what anybody. What they should do is go to the Humane Society, just get any kind of cool dog, and perhaps. bring them out there and put a little bulldog jersey on them and go, this is a, a nice little mutt. He's, he has a little stand-in until yeah. he can come back. Perhaps we could send them a letter. Hey, you guys at Butler, why don't you get off your ass and get oh, another gee. dog? How about that? <laughs> sure. Maybe. Maybe get a wiener dog. Maybe we're... Well, it's the butler the bulldogs. bulldogs. The bulldogs. They're, They're not wiener dogs. dogs. The but th that's the thing. It's sometimes <laughs> you, rather than try to fool them with a with a with a sub, uh -huh, uh -huh. you put in something that's that, completely different. We know different. it's not blue, blue the fourth. <laughs> it's like a German Shepherd or uh, a Golden Retriever. It's like sometimes when Carson would be sick, instead of getting a comedian to sit in the chair, they'd have like some athlete come in. So instead of having a bulldog, you bring in a Saint Bernard. So instead of Carson, you bring in Bob Euchre. Why don't you yeah. bring in a cat? There you go. Radical thinking. <laughs> a cat's kind of. Is, yeah, uh, that's fine. That would be problematic <laughs> because uh, cats are problems. Yeah. Hey. You cat can brothers. you can train a cat to sit still. Oh yeah, you sure can. <laughs> yeah. You'll get clawed to death. Put the cuffs on Fluffy. <laughs> the the band is playing. Um, speaking of bands. Yes. Uh, yeah. We have a uh, um, big band kind of music coming up. Uh, of, of, of in an interesting way in the news. Watch this. Oh, is that that uh, Louis Louis story? <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> is that what we're going to do? I didn't give that to you. How do you know you about that? You did wipe your mic stand. You deserve a little abuse. <laughs> Turn Pat's mic on. <laughs> <laughs> die. Die. Joe. Oh, my gosh. Cashew in the airway. What a way to go. Okay. 
We'll be back with that. You see the autopsy. They take those big, long tweezers. This is what killed him when they pulled oh, no. them off. It's, it's, of it's the heart. It's got to be the heart. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well, what else You're is coming up? Come on, let's not, let's not even talk. Uh, Major League Baseball playoffs begin today. We've got the word daredevil in one of our world records. And uh, also, that's a woman? Okay, 104. Oh. 104 year old woman in uh, world record. Yeah. That is one old. She's uh, <laughs> sweet, sweet. Uh, very brave. Okay. Uh, now, um, uh, right now, I want to talk about uh, the great things about the fall. You know, if I can make Pat laugh, I, I mark it as success. <laughs> <laughs> You're high and inside sometimes, and I love that about you. <laughs> Thank you. Go, go ahead. Don't uh, fall has arrived. And uh, HelloFresh wants to say, hello, how about some great food? Well, the way this works is HelloFresh does the grocery shopping. They do the measuring. You put it together. And they know that in the fall, you don't have any free time. You know, you've got the soccer game and you got to do this. You got to go there. And then there's the parent-teacher conference. Whatever you got going, save yourself some time. Have some great restaurant-quality food and save a ton of money. The new quick and easy options from HelloFresh. Give me an example, Christy Lee. The salmon limon with couscous, Italian herbs, and zucchini ribbon salad. Mm, sweet, oh. sweet couscous. It sounds fancy, <laughs> but you can put it together in five easy steps in just 20 minutes. They send you all the ingredients from HelloFresh. And even I can do this. You have beautiful cards with great pictures on them, and it looks very yummy. 20 minutes. Uh, a lot of the stuff uh, you would never make on your own, but HelloFresh walks you through it. They've got the card with the pictures and the recipes, and everything is in little packets and measured and ready to rock. If you don't know a persimmon from a peach from a pork chop, you can get through it with HelloFresh. It's a great way to learn how to cook, too. Join America's number one meal kit today, 50% off, and free shipping with the code 50 BT show. That's 50 <clears throat> 50 BT show at HelloFresh.com slash 50 BT show. That's going to help you. It's going to help them. It's going to help us. Once again, HelloFresh.com slash 50 BT show. Don't forget the mini pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, that's right. There's a bunch of great stuff, including those 15 minute meals from HelloFresh. HelloFresh.com slash 50 BT show. Coming up, Louie Louie in the news. He hasn't ruined it yet. You'll see why. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom. What about the Blow Jovian guy? Was, was was the, the, I think it was one of the Blow Jovians. Was this the Mad Armenians? Was this <laughs> Might have been Bluto Blow Jovian. And, and, and the Mad Armenians. Do we have everybody out there? I can't see. Um, do we need Chick? Okay. Do we need Chick? Do we, need we do need yes, Chick. We do for this oh, next tune. Okay. We're going to need oh. the Chickster. Oh. Yeah, there's a little vocalizing from uh, everyone on this one. Oh, that's this one. Oh, this yes. one. Yeah. Okay. That song. Yeah. Okay. Well, you all got to get out there. No, no not can, everybody. We can yeah, sing from in here. And ready? And we're ready. Okay. You're fed up. Wait a minute. This is called. Dear Penthouse, I'm a freshman at a small Midwestern university. And I never thought something like this could happen to me. My teacher with the dynamite ass asked me to stay after her class and she started to undress. Can't forget the statement she made. If you drop your pants, I'll raise your grade. Seaman 
first class had an overseas naval base. It's been seven long months since I've seen a woman's face. When I saw your recent issue, I bought a box of Kleenex tissue and I locked the barracks door. Thanks to you, I've gotten a grip. Please excuse my jerky penmanship. Red every issue since 1974. The first two years behind the bathroom door. I poured through every penthouse I could find. Even though my Sports on the radio has always been my job. I never wanted a man until I noticed Bob. His laugh fills me with desire. His bun set my loins on fire. And I dream about the day he says, Chick, let's get undressed. <laughs> Uh, name and address held withheld upon request. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Bravo! Bravo! Chick McGee, everybody! Yeah. Ah, the classics. You screwed up I screwed up the damn My withheld God. name and address. Nice, nice job, Chick. Nice job. <clears throat> That's and I even rehearsed yesterday. I did rehearse. You, you did? That's with rehearsal. <laughs> Thank God you rehearsed. Think how horrible it would have been. It was and I still you not. Get the... You oh did a great job. So wait, let's nice. do it again. One, no, two, two, three. three. No. <laughs> hey, it's Josh, and of course. Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom at Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show. And file. <laughs> did you go to Tax Preparation H Incorporated? I sure did. Do we owe much? Yep. Oh, we really got reamed by the IRS. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it doesn't hurt as much thanks to Tax Preparation H Incorporated. <laughs> Tax Preparation H Incorporated. We're just itching to oh. do your return. <laughs> Tax Preparation H Incorporated. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, and if you want, we'll even tell Uncle Sam to shove it up his... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Bobcat Goldthwait. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Do we have a topic today, Kostaki? We do. The topic today, uh, sort of dovetailing the uh, Super Bowl, it's uh, company slogans. Okay. And a bunch of them are beer slogans. They seem to be uh, <laughs> handy for joke writing, the beer slogans. Uh, Sam Adams, their slogan is, always a good decision. <laughs> Really? Beer is always a good decision? Wait a minute. I can say no. Yes. Good, good yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this might be my favorite slogan ever. Uh, it's such a beer guy slogan. Carlsberg, probably the best lager in the world. Only a beer slogan could start with the word probably. Like, we don't even know. Who cares? It's got to be top maybe. 100, right? Have a beer already. That is a very fine beer, though. I must it is say. a good beer. Probably the finest. But think about it. No other company could get away with that. Like, you can't have Delta. We'll probably get you there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Lord Coretta is a fine young comedian. Uh, are you a health yeah. guy? You run. You look very slender. And uh, I'm not a, a big health guy, although I'm healthy. I just uh, had a complete physical, and uh, unfortunately, I'm at that age where you get the real intense physical. No, yeah. yeah you know, I hope I'm not sharing too much, but mm -mm. the doctor actually stuck a camera in my rectum. Oh. It wasn't part of any procedure. He just suspected that his nurse was stealing from him. <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you, oh no. You're talking out your ass again. Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. There's Josh Arnold. Hey, Chick. There's Ace... Ace Cosby. Hey. Mr. Icon. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. We have uh, our pigskin pick'em competition uh, up and running for week five. And you can go to bobandtom.com slash contest. Your shot at winning the Big Green Egg Minimax week five officially begins 
coming up on Thursday. You don't have to have entered already. You can a brand new every week's a, a, a clean slate. Just pick the winners. Don't worry about the spread. Once again, bobandtom.com slash contest and have some fun. And you might just find yourself on the air with Chick McGee and the uh, famous shoe of the Week famous. sports pick show. That's right. Okay. Because this is the... The pigskin pick him. You know he's not happy. Now, I know that I'm not everyone's taste. My sense of humor may... It's a little left of center, I, yes. would, I would say, possibly, <laughs> or maybe right of center. I'm not down the middle is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I saw this yesterday online, and it's a video. I'll give you that. But there are two dogs watching a football game, <laughs> and one dog is a German shepherd. Right. And he's dressed in a chief's shirt, and he's watching the game. Mm -hmm. Naturally, the German shepherd is the smart one. Mm. The other dog is a Bernese Mountain Dog Aww. who's going to play this stupid lovable one. Aww. And it's, it's voiced by the same guy, but I think if I play the audio for you, it will be funny and hopefully brighten your day. Okay. Go the ahead. first voice you hear will be the smart... The German show. Um... No, maybe not. Maybe it is the Bernese Mountain Dog. He says, what are you doing? Okay. And the German Shepherd asks, I'm watching the game. Okay, here we go. What are you doing? I'm watching the game. Why does he have a quarter? It's the coin toss. He tossed the quarter. It's the coin toss. Touchdown, look. No, they're saying Buffalo won the coin toss. So they won the game? Just the coin toss. <laughs> what team does that lady play for? This is an Applebee's commercial. She plays for the Applebee's? This is a commercial. I don't understand. Where do the Applebee's play? Applebee's is a restaurant. <laughs> it's still a commercial. <laughs> Whenever the guy crosses the door. Why is there a kid there? Because it's an Applebee's. <laughs> look at all those little football. Those are mini corn. <laughs> What are you talking about? Pass interference. Do you even know what football Touchdown, is? Touchdown, Applebee! <laughs> 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 he tossed the corner! That's oh, my gosh. You have to find that. Okay. That is terrific. All right, one more time. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm watching the game. Why does he have a quarter? It's the coin toss. He tossed the quarter. It's the coin toss. Touchdown! Look, no, they're saying Buffalo won the coin toss. So they won the game? Just the coin toss. What team does that lady play for? This is an Applebee's <laughs> commercial. She plays for the Applebee's? This is a commercial. I don't understand. <laughs> Forget it. Where do the Applebee's play? Applebee's is a restaurant. It's still <laughs> Why is there a kid there? Because it's an Applebee's commercial. Look at all those little footballs. Those are mini corn. Interception. What are you talking about? Pass interference. Do you even know what football is? Touchdown! <laughs> Do you even know what football is? Oh, I at one point, the, the, the dumb dog even admits, I don't understand. <laughs> look at all those, where, where look all we, those mini footballs. There's a do corn we, dog. Where do we find the video? Yeah, where do you find that video? Uh, let me, it's called, it's uh, on Instagram, oh, and it's on... Oh, as you can hear, grizzly.bane. Oh, here it is. G-R-Z-Z-L-Y dot B-A-N-E on Instagram. Okay. And they are just adorable puppy dogs. And that's, that's, that's them. <laughs> yeah, that is them. <laughs> What's that lady doing? <laughs> it's an Applebee's commercial. Where's that kid? Who's the kid play for? It's Applebee's. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Do you even know what pass and fear is? Oh, oh, my gosh. Little that's dog. cute. Yeah, it's very, very cute. Okay. That's why the internet was, oh, man. was invented. Not. I agree. Not for. Porno. Two girls. Well, okay, they're two let's, girls let's and a not. yeah. Let's not two girls and a Bernie's. No. The disc <laughs> That's no ice cream. <laughs> oh, two girls. Oh. Now I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the two girls and a Bernie's, Bernie's mountain, mountain dog. dog. Let's let's leave the dogs out of this. Major League Baseball starts today. It's playoff action. Tom, do you have a favorite here in the in the no. playoff world? No, you don't. Okay, uh, American League playoffs: uh, Texas at Tampa Bay, at Toronto at Minnesota. All these times Eastern. Uh, Texas and Tampa Bay, 3 o'clock. Toronto and uh, Minnesota, 4.30. National League playoffs start tonight as well. Arizona at Milwaukee, uh, 7.08 Eastern Miami at Philly, 8 o'clock tonight. In case It's on the ESPN family of networks if you'd like to check that out. And let's go... Where am I going? Here. Stupid world record. <laughs> A Chinese daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> has broken the Guinness World Record for the fastest 100-meter slackline walk. Oh, that's Ooh. scary. Never understood this, but... Uh, it's really... like a tightrope, but it's not tight. But I think... <laughs> I think it requires... Doesn't it... Part of... When the line goes slack, it makes it easier to do, right? Isn't that I right? I don't know about that. Okay. Walking across a slack line suspended more than... 300 feet above the ground, mm. Mr. Shi Halen accomplished the feat in time 1 minute 14.198 seconds, 100 meters. Now, the current world record for 100-meter run is 
10 1, 10 2, something like that. There he is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, see, he's way up high. Is that a slack line? Oh, yeah. man. And if anything goes wrong, he he does have a safety harness on. So yes, he does. But he's way up there. Josh, you want to take this? He's wearing a safety harness. Cheating. <laughs> yep, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, this, uh, this, he doesn't go anywhere without the safety line. Look yeah, at him. I don't think yeah. Guinness will allow anything without a safety harness on. Scary. Is that right? Man, that's scary. 300 feet. Mm, so cut this guy some slack. <laughs> <laughs> so the 100-meter dash, uh, right around 10-1, 10-2, he uh, did this. 100-meter slack line walk, 300 feet above the ground. Wow. One minute, 14.198 seconds. It was a healthy clip. Uh, the, he beat the, beat the previous record of one minute, 59.737, almost two minutes. Whoa. Good so, for him. Yeah, good Tom, for him. Tom, did your mom call your pants slacks? On occasion, yeah, absolutely. Why Trousers, slacks. Yeah. Never said pants? Put on some nice slacks. <laughs> pants would come on occasionally, and then was... <laughs> Really? Sure. Mm. Pants, slacks. Do people still say <laughs> slacks? Tom Some does. People. Oh. Tom says slacks, says trousers. Jeans, yes. I think, have mm. taken over, obviously. Mm. Um, pantaloons. How do you feel about pantaloons? Mm. Funny. Do you ever wear slacks, Tom? Rarely. Mm. Are slacks non-jean material, I'm guessing? Yes, in right? my house they were. Yeah. Yeah. But in, in Tom's, no? And yeah. they were anything? Yeah. Oh, slacks, church clothes? Slacks. A little more a little more formal. Yeah. Church clothes, yeah. Oh, yeah, we wore slacks to church. <laughs> Trousers. Uh, yeah, the, the, a little more formal than jeans. Yeah. Anyway. Mm. Uh, um, now, uh, coming up in sports, we did have... Did your one. father ever wear a pair of jeans? I don't think he ever did ever. No kidding. I don't think so. Wow. wow. Different times, different generation. I guess so. He'd wear a tie on Saturday, even if he wasn't going to the office. Really? Yeah. Sunday, Come down to the Sunday, breakfast. No Sundays? Yeah, uh, yeah. Different Shorts ever? No. Uh, that's a great question. Not in my lifetime, I don't mm. think. Did you ever, ever wear seen? a short sleeve shirt? Yeah, he would wear a short sleeve shirt, yeah. All right. He didn't watch a football game just wearing a hoodie and a pair of sweatpants? A hoodie? <laughs> <laughs> my father was a Supreme Court justice clerk for Justice Harold Burton. He did not You know wear what? I bet the hoodies. Supreme Court guys wear a hoodie every now and then. They relax on the yeah, weekend. Come Burton. on. I could do a joke here, but I won't. Obviously, Burton, though, he, he, he mailed in a couple of his rulings. We all know it. I mean... A couple uh, names, but... Be Four nice. sports coming up, including another uh, world record. An old lady. An old lady world record. Oh, yeah. Also, old coming lady. up in the news... Oh, listen to that. They got the harmony in there. Sudden, I'm drunk on High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Frank, it's so tip. My father went the same way. <laughs> this is the song that's playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gets trampled by a steep roller, <laughs> run over by a band. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I'm thinking about it real quick. Did you know that there's a, there's a new book out about the making of the movie Airplane? Oh, cool. In which, the, in which the three directors and writers talk about the movie and all the behind-the-scenes stuff. Did you know that David Letterman auditioned for the... No. Ted Stryker role in that, I'm forgetting, Robert Hayes role in wow, Airplane. I didn't know that. There's and, even video of it. Yeah, they? there was. He, it was up uh, on the internet the other day. They had, he had the Zucker brothers on, and they said... <laughs> And he, it was okay with him, obviously, that they showed the uh, the audition tape, but it was... He, <laughs> they said... He said, uh, you... Uh, the Zucker brothers said, you told us that you weren't an actor. And David goes, that's right. And he goes, well, you were you were right. <laughs> <laughs> we're coming right back. Yeah. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. It's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom at Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Big Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. And <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? Oh, you get a laugh. 
And all you trick-or-treaters, come listen to me good about a grave that's in a graveyard in this very neighborhood. Contains a boy who died this very night so long ago. Now candy wrappers mysteriously appear around his stone. You know it's Halloween. You know it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Sliding through the dirt, all cold and moldy. And the only thing that they can think about is how... They're getting your candy. Trick or treat! Hear the children crying. But who's that pale boy at the back with the antique suit and tie on? When you passed out the candy, it seemed to fade into his hand. And look, there's a clump of fresh dirt on the spot where he did stand. Oh, it's Halloween. You know it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Sliding through the dirt, all cold and moldy. And the only thing that they can think about is how... Get your candy. I heard about this kid who collected lots of sweets. And with a flashlight in his bed, he counted out his treats. When they found him in the morning, the bags of candy, they were gone. A clump of fresh dirt by his bed, and the flashlight was still on. Oh, it's Halloween. You know, it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Sliding through the dirt, all cold and moldy. And the only thing that they can think about is how... Now each and every child behind a mask is hid. But which one do you think's a ghost and which one is a kid? But in the shiny darkness when the leaves are blowing through, has it occurred to you the only one that's not a ghost is you? Oh. 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 I just beat this. Uh, everybody. Uh. And so you trick-or-treaters, take heed of what I said And leave your candy here with me, don't take it up to bed I'll protect you from the ghoulies and the ghosties and the beasties Though you may lose that Snickers bar and ooh look Reese's Pieces Oh it's Halloween, you know it's kind of scary The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery But get on up to bed, but grab that broom before you do and sweep up this clump of fresh dirt mm. that fell off of my pants. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Very scary. Thank you so much. Haywood Banks and one of his Halloween tributes. Shaft's lethal weapon is astronaut Apollo Johnson. And when he's not orbiting the Earth, he's going around the world. <laughs> Apollo Johnson, he's not just an astronaut. He's a charter member of the 100,000-mile high club. And believe me, there's nothing weightless about Apollo 13 and a half. Oh, Apollo. <laughs> now I know why 
why they call it the Johnson Space Center. <laughs> He's Apollo Johnson, and not even the shuttle can hold all of his cargo. Look at that load. <laughs> Apollo 13 and a half from Monumental Pictures, rated PG-13. And a half. <laughs> oh, boy. Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. Uh, right now, Killer Bees joins us in the studio. Uh, Bees, how you doing? Real good, man. I get up a shopping it. list over here. My wife's eating in bed now. She's at that part of the pregnancy where they crave all this food. Mm. Uh -huh. Some people have mirrors over the bed. We got a sneeze guard. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping on those posturepedic seal a meal, man. <laughs> hey, you ain't lived till you're making love and you wife says, go slow, I'm spilling my chili. <laughs> so, Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you, though, it's tough because uh, <laughs> I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor, Gail, very... Um, Gail? Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved in. Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and um, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is... Tom! <laughs> Bob and Tom 24 7. Don't okay. on the way. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. <laughs> Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. All you and Tom do is make each other. Shake your own head. So, like, I, I just know. I look over at Tom. You you said you, Tom's shaking his head. Then I look at you and Tom speaking. You're shaking your head. It just, there has to be other <laughs> items of conversation in your brain other than what we covered off the air. I'm just saying What's that, wrong that would be you? a bad way to go. Is all I'm saying. There's yeah. Ace Cosby. Hello, Ace. Hi, Jake. There's Tom Griswold. I mean, go. javelin in the rectum. Bad way to go. Ooh, that's, all I'm saying. that's a bad way to go. Uh, um, by the way, um, you we don't have know a, that we have a special show coming. Up. You're right. No. You know, tactically, you're right. People yeah. can't really talk about it after. Um, we're exclusive. going to be doing this show live at the North Star. Um, Not if you're there. Uh, North Star <laughs> Mohican <laughs> Casino Resort coming up on the morning of November 17th. It's a Friday. And, of course, the casino is in Bowler, Wisconsin. We'll be there. Thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> then that evening, two shows. But now remember, he does want me to play this. Mommy's little fifty. <laughs> but he plays the hell out of the bowling sound effect. <laughs> you tell me, why am I insane? It's not a bowling sound effect. That's actual bowling recorded. Oh, okay. Um, it's uh, going to be a special show that evening. The first show already sold out. Second show on sale right now at North Star Casino Resort slash Entertainment. Once again, it's November 17th. It's a Friday. And among those on the stage, Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oskey, Willie G, yours truly and him. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and uh, we'll get back to sports. Oh, that was good. Yeah. What have you got over there? Nice last orgasm. Uh, a little baby, uh, a little baby orgasm. Stupid world record. A centenarian from Chicago hoping to be certified as the world's oldest skydiver. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> The Chicago Tribune, have you seen the Trib, reports that 104-year-old Dorothy Hoffner recently took to the skies, jumped out of a perfectly good airplane, and parachuted down safely for what may be a record-breaking landing. The current record set in May of 2022 by 103-year-old Linnea Ingegard Larsen from Sweden. According to WLS Television, Skydive Chicago is working to have Guinness World Records certified Hoffner's jump as a record. Isn't that great? No word on if she ju actually uh, also jumped with the base. Hey! <laughs> Hoffner. Hoffner. <laughs> so she is. A little, uh, little Beatles joke there. Yes. Back. I heard that. Uh, so she's 104. Right. Boy. Can you imagine? No. After touching down on her recent jump, Hoffner told the crowd, age... Is just where am I? No, <laughs> ma'am. Ma age is just a number. Good for her. Her mind then quickly turned to the future and other challenges. Plus, she, what, she probably also said, "What's the worst that would happen? I, I die." There you My go. God, I'm 104. 
She, she actually knew Geronimo, <laughs> which Jeez. is very, very unusual. Geronimo uh, <laughs> was a fantastic lover. She's going set to turn 105 in December. She was born in... Fingers crossed. 1918. Wow. That's amazing. Hmm. Good for her. She might take a ride in a hot air balloon next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boring. Better schedule it now. She yeah, said, I, right? I, I've never been in the hot air balloon. Good for her. But I do know Tom Griswold, it says here. Yeah. Very good. Hot air balloon. Tom, what if this lady's dying wish was to make love to you? <laughs> would you Would you grant her that? Would, would you, you give, give her, her that, that gift? Would you give her the high hard one? <laughs> would you put a baby in her? <laughs> Putting a baby in her, that would be a Guinness record. I, think even, I don't think there's a, an expert in, what is it called? In vitro fertilization. That's what it's called. That could make that happen. No. Uh, yeah. That, I mean, you'd have to. You might as well just put it in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> you, can she live through the gestation period? I don't know. Uh. This poor lady, she's, give her some credit. Oh, sure. Were, were, these, these tandem, still were these the tandem jumps and she go solo? Must be tandem. Hey, guess what? The story I have doesn't say. Oh, okay. They're not going to let her just plummet on her own. Good question. Why though. not? They're, no, she had to have been tandem. Was she diapered up? I don't know. I didn't read the story. <laughs> you know she'd get lost if she didn't have someone with her. She's 100. <laughs> no, here she is. Yeah, she's it's yeah, she's got... Uh, there's some guy on top of her. A strapping young lad. There's some guy on top of yeah. her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is why she did it. <laughs> Absolutely true. Take me like a dog, Elvis. <laughs> it sounds like Pat has something. Oh, I thought I, thought I did. Now I'm, a little, now I'm a little gun shy. I don't blame you. What the heck? I want to glide down <laughs> over the nursing home. Hope I don't crap my oh, pants in the sky. <laughs> I'm going to try and free fall. <laughs> my turn into dust. I'm 103. Hell, I could die. And I'm going to pee. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm falling. I think that's enough of that. She's going to uh, pee while she's falling. She's falling. Yeah, I see that one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pee. Pee. <laughs> pee it says um, here that uh, she left her walker uh, just short in the, of the in plane. The, in the plane? No, or? no, no. Oh. Uh, well, how'd she get on the plane? She left her walker behind just short of the plane. Lift me like an officer and a gentleman. Was helped, <laughs> was helped up the steps to join the others waiting inside to skydive. She said, let's go, let's go, Geronimo. Wow. So she <laughs> really didn't know Geronimo. Uh, when she first did it, she had to be pushed out of the aircraft. Boy, that'd well, be, that what a hell of a job that is. That doesn't uh, sound... So what not, do you do? Not, I, I push ladies out of a plane. Yeah, yeah. Old see, ladies. See you on the other side, Grandma. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> says, on Sunday, tethered to a U.S. Parachute Association certified instructor, Ms. Hofter insisted on leading the jump huh. from 13,500 feet. I got it. She looked calm and confident when the plane was aloft and its aft door opened. It's aft. I bet her aft door. Open. It's, it's, it's aft. Door. Door. It just writes itself. Right. The, the aft on a, on a, of course, on a, on a plane boat also would be the oh, yeah, rear. The, the back. Y'all know. Yeah. She tumbled out of the plane Kennedy, head first, completing so. a perfect forward roll into the sky before <laughs> flying stable in free fall with her belly facing the ground. So normally how it's done? <laughs> the dive lasted. Yeah, you don't want to land on your back. <laughs> the dive lasted seven yeah, minutes. <laughs> Did somebody tell this, the author of this story, it has to be 9,000 words? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> interesting information. Good for her. Jesus. Hmm. Um, so there you go. World record. A lot of flutter, I bet. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Close your legs, ma'am. We, we already heard the Aztec death whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a tribute to that coming up, Pat? Uh, I have a song called Scariest Thing that references that, but we're not going to play, oh, okay. play. Right, it. That's okay. too scary for me. Really? Yeah. Um, is that sports? Well, one more time. The dogs watching football. What are you doing? I'm watching the game. Why does he have a quarter? It's the coin toss. He tossed the quarter. It's the coin toss. Touchdown. Look. No, they're saying Buffalo won the coin toss. So they won the game? Just the coin toss. What team does that lady play for? This is an Applebee's commercial. <laughs> she plays for the Applebee's? This is a commercial. I don't understand. Forget it. Where do the Applebee's play? Applebee's is a restaurant. Touchdown. It's still on commercial. What is a touchdown? Whenever the guy crosses the floor. Why is there a kid there? Because it's an Applebee's commercial. Look at all those little footballs. Those are mini corn. Interception. What are you talking about? Pass interference. Do you even know what football touchdown. is? Touchdown! Hey! Okay. 
So uh, the talking dogs. Where do you find them again? Have we posted uh, grizzly, that? Uh, grizzly dot bane on Instagram. The okay, talking thank dogs. You, thank you very yeah. much. Now, um, after this is over, you can go watch that at your house. Uh, lock, I can lock the doors. You're darn right, I can. And you'll be in the compound feeling and good about yourself. Laugh so hard I'll cry because I have Simply Safe, the do-it-yourself, design-it-yourself home security system, and Simply Safe has their new revolutionary. Home monitoring innovation, the 24-7 live guard protection designed to help stop crime in real time. Now, if an intruder breaks into your home, Simply Safe professional monitoring agents can actually see, speak to, and deter them through Simply Safe's new smart alarm wireless indoor camera, stopping them in their tracks. 24-7 live guard protection is made possible by the new smart alarm wireless indoor camera. Available with the Fast Protect monitoring plan, it's the only indoor security camera that can trigger the alarm and instantly deter intruders with a built-in siren. You can install your way the way I did. I did it myself in about 30 minutes, or you can have a Simply Safe expert set it up for you. Either way, it's oh so easy to protect your home. And for a limited time, get 20% off your new system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring. Visit Simply Safe Tom. Dot com for more information that's simplysafetom.com. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Did you know that this lady, when she jumped out of the airplane at age 104, knitted her own parachute? Really? Oh. <laughs> that is something. Yeah, and that's... completing it just in time. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's. Oh, and we have that, this, that's, uh, that's, that's this update. Take me like a dog, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. We have that. We have that. Forever. Take me like a dog, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're coming right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still poop. You can pick your morning radio show, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom. Hey, what is there a song that is your most requested song? Oh, I would be, uh, guess it would well, have to do you know, with the to toast, to toast which I... How about Fly's Eyes? That, uh, that's only one of the first ones you ever did on our show. Fly's Eyes? Do you know that one? Uh, yeah. Really? Kind of. Are you going to get through it all the way? Well, we, probably well, not. Don't jinx them. Let's jinx them. start the betting! <laughs> 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 20 bucks? Over, <laughs> under, three mistakes. I know, well, I know Josh has 700, 700 bucks right now. Yeah, he's $700. <laughs> when do I get that? You want to bet? You want to bet seven hundred bucks? No, I'll take. I'll just take the double or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say seven hundred. He doesn't make it. <laughs> if there's a problem in the song, you will hear this sound. Okay, oh. go ahead. That's not the right. That's sound. not the right That's sound. That's the right sound. No, sorry. If there's a problem in the song, you will hear this sound. There you go. There okay, you go. go ahead. Oh yeah, this is what flies eyes. Turn yes. her yeah. Okay, go. turn her up a little bit. I am looking at the world through flies eyes. Looking at the world through flies. Crowd loves Looking at the world through flies eyes. And you can just buzz off. Well, I think I'll buzz in the front door. I think I'll buzz around the back door screen. Think I'll buzz around your face. <laughs> and then I'll land on the potato salad. Buzz, 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 buzz,
Sales.com slash Bob and Tom 50 to get 50% off. Hey, hi, this is Tom. And this is Chick from the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Christy, what's the best way to get full access to the show? Hey, what? you introduced me. Uh, that would be to become a Bob and Tom VIP. Very good. Now, Josh, what's a feature of Bob and Tom VIP? Wait a minute. Well, the live five-camera video stream of the show, plus a podcast of the show, and comedy from the Bob and Tom archives. Excellent. Chick, what do you have to say for yourself? Become a Bob and Tom VIP now. Just go to bobandtom.com slash VIP. See, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Don't, 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 don't. The essential morning radio. Don't. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24 7, 24 7. with an air pump? <laughs> I thought you said you had small pox. <laughs> really? No, seriously. Really? <laughs> but your feet are so big. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get my tweezers. <laughs> Aw, it's like a little light switch. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Her at the news desk. <laughs> Whatever. It's Christy Lee. There's Pat Godwin. Hi, Chick, I love you. Uh, there's Josh. Why do I almost say Josh Gordon? Who's Josh Gordon? Oh, he's a wide receiver. Who is Josh Gordon? Wide receiver. I'm off in trouble. Uh, Josh Arnold over there. Hi, Josh. Hi there. I was, I was uh, announced on stage uh, in front of a big show once n- not too long ago. By a friend of mine yeah. who's on the radio. <laughs> right. And he, uh, he he was giving me a very nice intro, and he goes, please give it up for Josh Allen. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yes, but he had football in the brain as well. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Jo- and Josh Allen, who's... Uh, oh, Josh Allen's a Josh quarterback Allen, for the Bills. Yeah. yeah. Right. So. Cute. You think? He, My kids think he's cute. He's still, that guy will still text me every now and again and go, I'm so sorry I called you. <laughs> he's kind of a backwoods cute, that Josh Allen. He's like a lumberjack by day and... Uh, I see him in chunky sweaters out in the woods. Do you know? Wyoming. Could we get the Lumberjack intro? chic? Yeah, yeah. There's Ace Cosby. I'm Chick, and here's Tom. Sorry to bother you. Tom, do you kind of like a white trash lady? Dirty leg. Dirty leg. Oh, is that? Yeah, sure, yeah. That's, you like what, a, they, that's what he calls him. I never heard of I didn't that. know yeah, that's what him. you were talking about this whole time. I thought yeah. it was just a, a promiscuous woman. No, no, no white leg. trash girl. Dirty, dirty leg. Because mm. white trash women don't bathe, apparently. <laughs> I don't, is that what dirty leg means? I don't uh, guess. There's a lot of bathing that goes on. It's just on occasion. <laughs> I don't know where Dirty activities happen in the, happen in the leg, leg region. Um, are you kind of like a dirt bag lady? Not a dirt bag. <laughs> like a, where are you on uh, like a full bush? Where are you on that? <laughs> like no, thank you. No, belly thank you. button. To upper Treasure, knee. Treasure trail on <laughs> under the knee. I'm going to need some. <laughs> that is the syrup of Ipecac, whatever. Ipecac. Yeah. Ipecac. Of, uh, really? yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know who I bet likes a uh, just a tough dirt bag of a woman? Godwin. Oh. I don't, no, no, no. Quite, <laughs> quite the opposite. Oh, you don't? No, uh, I. Jeez, I was practically married to royalty down in Miami. Oh, God. <laughs> Get I over go, it. I go the other way. Get okay, over okay. It. all right. Uh, all right. Could High we, maintenance. Possibly. Boy, when you bump into one of those that's uh, clean, oh, it's like Christmas, isn't it? It's fun. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. Actually, Christy, that, your thoughts. That actually ties into a uh, news story coming up. Um, there is um, uh, STDs in the news. Ah. Or is there sometimes called, what is it now? It's STI. I would the, think uh, uh, sca- b- uh, bugs. Would uh, find, uh, trouble finding purchase without hair? That's about, uh, one of the, hair. Uh, well, mm. the, there's uh, apparently less. U.S. health officials plan to endorse a cheap antibiotic as a so-called morning-after bill against sexually transmitted infections. 
The Centers for Disease Control released guidelines for the use of doxycycline to prevent common STDs. The proposal comes after studies showed some people who took the antibiotic within three days of unprotected sex were far less likely to get chlamydia, syphilis, or gonorrhea compared to those who did not take the pills after sex. Hmm. Well, how did they know the person they had sex with had the STD? Or are they just taking a... Because she was wearing a blue jean jacket. (laughs) (laughs) I see. That's that's one of the ways you can know. Yeah. That's a sure sign. Especially if it's got a Looney Tunes character (laughs) on it. Almost every woman I know owns a blue jean jacket, Tom. Um, I Uh, well, well, you know. I'm just kidding. (laughs) But they scratch themselves Anyway, so you're supposed to take, what, after unprotected sex, uh, you're supposed to take um, ivermectin. uh, Doxycycline. Oh, sorry. Uh, isn't this a good way to make sure those antibiotics never work for you again? Like, yeah. You're not supposed to just take them uh, offensively. Willy-nilly. We yeah. tried to tell Tom that yeah, a long at, time ago. When he was doing a Z-Pack every with the, week. Uh, with the Z-Pack. Yeah. He, would, he would get a Z-Pack if the barometric pressure would change. Yes. Oh, uh, I need a Z-Pack. Oh, man. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Nope. Oh, uh, you couldn't tell him. Well, this is the Center for Disease Control suggesting that if you're uh, so it's China promiscuous uh, playing the field mm-hmm. out there, you might want to you might want to. Who stock owns up doxycycline? On doxycycline. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What they're not saying in this article is: do are they are they trying to make it so you don't need a prescription? That's what it sounds like. Hmm. Says they're endorsing. No, I don't think that's the case. You still, it's a cheap antibiotic. You're not going to be able to buy it over the counter. Do you need a prescription for the so-called morning after pill in the birth control realm? Why can't no. you, uh, why can't you buy an antibiotic over the counter? Well, because people would, as Josh they just would said, abuse would abuse it, and then your Use body them becomes until it no longer effective. Right. Hmm. You got. I don't know. Yes, you can buy a no, morning after pill without a, a prescription. Now, the morning after pill. What if you have sex in the afternoon? Oh, Tom. <laughs> probably isn't. Hang on, <laughs> somebody answer the There is a time frame problem. The rules aren't that, so it's not like the gremlins. You can take it after midnight. Have you have sex in the morning. <laughs> you can take it any time after you've had sex. That's what it says here. It says morning after. Well, he's right. Morning. Isn't that thing Clearly called Are after. You 486? Yeah. What what dirtbag, clever scientist came Never up with the- have been all you remember the uh, 86 that thing okay yeah. oh, hey, aren't you a doctor remember the <laughs> i don't know if we can find do we still have that dean we had a uh, the ru486 um uh we have a knockoff on that i don't know if we again i'm sorry to be looking on the, we'll see if we have it mm. you will have to, nope we don't have i just it. don't understand how it was excuse me uh, it was ru4 <laughs> It was a different kind of birth control. It was called RU 469. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and the, the premise of it was, you see, since there was yes. no actual. Oh, I see, yes. Uh, no de- de- no uh, deposit in the, oral, the if baby cave. Right, right. It's a young, uh, man, it's yeah. a young man's the R- game. RU 469. It was very, 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 it's very a young funny. man's game. Is That's that what you just said? That was a young right. man's game. Oh, boy. <laughs> it does get confusing there at some oh, point, yeah. doesn't it? It's just oh, like, yeah. what the hell's going on here? <laughs> you find your mind wanders every now and then. Mind. You know, I, I never, you, you I never noticed you can't, that. You can't play offense and defense. Yeah. Yeah. Not in the pros. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, back to you, Chick. So I, I've mastered Chick, sport, in sports. Chick was done. No, I wrapped it up. Did we not have the outro? Yeah. I don't think we did have the outro. Did we? Chick, I don't think we did. Friday, this is what you find it for. Touchdown! <laughs> Wherever you go, whatever you do, always be a good sport. After the dog has yelled touchdown three times at one point, he goes to the other dog. What is a touchdown? <laughs> And the other dog goes, well, it's when he crosses it. <laughs> Christy? Scientists say the venom from a deadly South American spider could prove to be a better treatment for erectile dysfunction than Viagra. Oh, you better? Be, you yep. got to be careful with the dosage on this, I would guess. Yeah, we talked about the banana spider before. That's the spider. It's commonly known as. Or armadiria, known for its venom that can cause extreme pain. Armadiria. As well as involuntary erections. I'm, I'm, I'm a dearie girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, Bra- I'm Brazilian I'm researchers have since created a synthetic molecule called BZ371A hmm. based on the spider's venom. Early clinical tests have shown that the molecule can increase local blood flow ah. and cause vasodilation with little to known side effects. Okay, so you don't have to get it straight from the spider. You no. Don't, you don't shove a spider down your pants. No. <laughs> the new drug goodness. could prove helpful for those who cannot take the popular ED treatments like Viagra or Cialis due to potential side effects or pre-existing health conditions. But they haven't perfected this yet. No, they have not. I wonder, do you think, I, honestly, do you think the story was released because of Halloween? Um, what? No. no. I don't know. I, I, I mean, they haven't 
this thing isn't really done. Yeah, this... we have those stories all the time, though. But, I mean, it's a spider. Okay, never mind. I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was kind of odd that it would come out right now. You never know. They could have well, come out in the spring. I mean, and went, you know what? Else, Let's save this. How else do you tie Halloween into erections? <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong. Well, you're making the assumption. <laughs> <someone's crying. laughs> I didn't use my hands. <laughs> There's an old joke about, uh, well, how'd you ring the bell? Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, it has to do with them. No, a dozen that. donuts and uh, say, uh, a cup of coffee? No. What is it? No. <laughs> That's a, is that it? No. Okay. Mm. I'm sorry, Christy. They were Wait, no, hang, right, Christy, hang on. Yes. Take me like a dog, Elvis. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Back to you. <laughs> That's an old lady. That's <laughs> an old lady. He's, he's doing the old lady voice. <laughs> like a dog. I think you're, I think you're Elvis. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Firefighters in New York say they were dispatched to a raging house fire only to discover it was a Halloween decoration. The Facebook account for the Glens Falls Fire Department said crews were called on a report of a structure fire. The responding firefighters instead found the fire was a realistic Halloween display using two LED lights, a box fan, a silver sheet, and a fog machine. <laughs> the department shared footage of the home's windows glowing with bright orange flames that appear to be blazing within. And with the fog machine, you can't blame somebody no. for... <laughs> this is, there's the problem here to me. Damn is, kids. Is the boy who cried wolf effect. Mm. Then they get a phone call tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, that you know, the house on Green Street's on fire. No, it's not. That's just a special effect. <laughs> Those that's, firemen. That's the one the kids set on fire. Hey, Roger, you think this house is bad? Look across the street. Skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> Do we got to go battle those now? <laughs> that's, that, see, that was the conversation between the firefighters there. Yeah. Are there there has seen lit. Sure. Josh, this has to have happened. Murder all I, of you. I don't go to horror movies, but <laughs> you're a big horror movie guy. I am. So I assume that Halloween is the best time if you have an actual dead body to... Stick it in your front yard and... Oh, I see. You've confused me as a horror fan for a an serial actual psycho. killer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you think about it. I mean... Sure. You could, you could get away with it, let's say... For a few days. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to dressing it up like Uncle Sam on the 4th of July. <laughs> you know, that might be hmm. their grandfather. Oh, God. I mean, you, could, you could hang a dead body from an oak tree in your front lawn and... No one would be the wiser. Not at first. You yeah. could be several days away from the cops by the time they, well, we found her hanging from a tree. Turns yes. Out, turns out what? the Jake's referenced the story of the what? actual corpse being found in a fun house. In a fun house. Or in like a, a scary. What, what better place to hide one? Yeah. Well, turned out to be some old gunslinger. Remember that? Ugh. Do you remember the story about the. Um, nope. Oh. Uh, the right. nightclub. It was in Canada. This is, uh, and it was. Um, uh, they they disallowed smoking. Oh, I and remember. And several this years thing. after they had disallowed smoking, someone noticed something odd, an odd smell, and there was kind of a back area. And they went in there. They you had you'd have to squeeze through this brick wall to get to it, and they, there was a body in there. Yeah, hmm. it, it had been in there for years, and no one had been able to smell it because of all of the uh, the the smell of the smoke over the years. Very creepy. Uh, they think that someone during a loud, I guess, disco party <laughs> snuck back in there and dropped dead. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Great premise for a movie. I don't know where you take it after the guy goes in there and dies. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking uh, uh, car chase. <laughs> sure, why not? Car chase. But, but he's dead in there. Well, no, okay, the sir. cops are... All right. Um, so uh, what else have you got, Christy? Authorities in Florida say they caught a man hiding five lobster tails in his pants. Miami. Well, where else are you going to put them? Miami Herald reports Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission police officers noticed a 34-year-old swimming near the Boca Chica Bridge in the Lower Keys with lobster in his hand. Boca Chica. Yeah. Officials said when the man swam to officers on a boat, they noticed him release a mangrove snapper from a T-shirt he was holding. When the suspect boarded the boat, officers found five undersized rung spiny lobster tails in his pants. By state law, all spiny lobsters must be brought to shore whole. In total, the man was found with seven lobsters, which is one over the legal limit, and 12 mangrove snappers, seven over the legal limit. Uh, he was arrested for 14 misdemeanor fishery counts. Do those lobsters have the pinchers? I would think. Yeah, but they're lobsters. But he only pinch. had the tails, they're remember? Not alive. They're yeah, not he only had the tails. He, he, he ripped the tails he ripped off. He ripped the tails off, apparently. Yeah. What a monster. What? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, he didn't bring them up whole. Oh, that's awful. Hmm. 
I can't was, be easy just to rip a tail off a lobster. Do they grow them back? They do, like lizards. Is that right? Says by state law, all spiny lobsters must be brought to shore whole, so I'm assuming you just oh, rip the I tails off. I see what off. you mean. Okay. In fact, most seafood restaurants, Jack, only have like three lobsters back there, and yeah. they just keep ripping the tails off <laughs> and grow new ones. <laughs> you feed them. Yeah, yeah whole system back there. Yeah. <laughs> that's not, that's not. Here, I, I, I thought, learned. Good I thought they were in there pinching as, you know. Sacky? No. Nope. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I guess you just had crabs in there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're laughing at that, you really... <laughs> you know, we appreciate you and we want you. Thank you for yes, taking yes, we <laughs> We'll try the harder next time, we promise. Uh, 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 I haven't had a lobster tail in a while. I haven't either. Buy me one. <laughs> you, Christy, I'm talking to you. Buy me a lobster. Take, take me on a proper date. Buy me a, lo- oh, buy no. me a lobster, Christy. Will you Christy? wine and dine me? Sure. There's then no what? sex. You have, you're married. Uh-huh. I'll just go so home and wine. You just want the wine and the dine? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Could we move on? Oh, sorry. How about an over the waistband handy? How about okay. that? How about let's just hey, hey, allow that? Will, no. Will, I want to hear that dog clip again. No, you don't. I love that. It's like 20 minutes long. No, 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 no. no, no. I meant the, the game. Why does he have a quarter? It's the coin toss. He tossed the quarter. It's the coin toss. Touchdown. Look. No, they're saying Buffalo won the coin toss. So they won the game? Just the coin Two toss. Dogs what kid does that lady play for? <laughs> this is an Applebee's commercial. She plays for the Applebee's? This is a commercial. I don't understand. Forget it. Where do the Applebee's play? <laughs> Applebee's is a restaurant. Touchdown. It's still on commercial. Where's the touchdown? <laughs> Whenever the guy crosses the floor. Why is there a kid there? Because it's an Applebee's commercial. Look at all those little footballs. Those are mini Next. Interception. What are you talking about? Pass interference. Touchdown. Touchdown. Okay. A Rhode Island man facing charges after he was found with 26 pounds of cocaine in a kayak on a Vermont lake. (laughs) The U.S. Attorney's Office said agents encountered 38-year-old Freddie Rodriguez behind a rented camper in Highgate, Vermont, near the Canadian border. Agents said they noticed the man loading packages into the kayak, dragging the boat into the waters of Lake Champlain. In court documents, the suspect apparently tried to flee when agents confronted him, but was apprehended. In a kayak? The objects in the kayak, Tom, were brick-like packages containing a white powder that tested positive oh, for cocaine. So he was cocaine. White, white powder rafting, as opposed to <laughs> <laughs> white, <laughs> white, oh, white water God. rafting. White powder. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was charged with possessing cocaine with intent I to distribute. I read the story. I knew that. Do you know how they knew, knew it was a problem? Uh, how'd they know? When he was kayaking, there was a wake. <laughs> it's rapid, you see. You could, oh, you, you, you oh, could, oh, you could water ski cocaine. behind him. Yeah. It's, a, it's a boating job. Oh, so he had been doing some <laughs> for those, been doing for those his own you, product. For those of you that have been in a boat, you see that <laughs> the wake is caused by speed. And ah. Usually a kayak wouldn't do. Oh. <laughs> okay, we found it. Congratulations, Dean. You mentioned um, the RU486. Yes. And that was what again? That is the uh, morning. so-called morning after pill. Morning after pill. It's a, kind of a cutesy name for such a... <laughs> well, we found, the, uh, we found this. Birth control. In the old days, there was the rhythm method of birth control. The 20th century gave us the latex condom, better known as the rubber. In the 60s, modern science gave us the birth control pill and the diaphragm. The 90s have brought us Norplant and RU486. RU486 is the new French birth control method. RU486 is the so-called morning after pill, and its use has raised some tricky moral and ethical questions. And that's why here at Gladiator Industries, we're pleased to announce the guilt-free alternative to RU486. Introducing RU4. 69. <laughs> With RU 469, you'll never get pregnant. Allow me to introduce myself. Oh I'm Dr. Raymond Filatio. <laughs> RU 469 isn't a birth control pill, it's an oral aphrodisiac. Women who take it give off a scent that men find irresistible. And just how do men respond? Just listen. Well, when it came to, you know what, my husband was tongue-tied. He never used to satisfy me that way until I started using RU469. And now, let's just say he's got that problem licked. (laughs) RU469, buy it by the case. Soon you'll put more than a smile on your lover's face. Your husband will be a hungry Romeo. What he does to you, you'll have to turn up the stereo. <laughs> the ladies love it. RU 469 from Gladiator Industries. You beast. 
thanks, are you 469? Are you 469? It's so popular, consumers are lapping it up worldwide. Are you 469? You bet. Every morning, my husband gets a hot muffin for breakfast. Are you 469? Buy it by the case. Soon you'll put more than a smile on your lover's face. Your husband will be a hungry Romeo. And when he does what he does to you, you'll have to turn up the stereo. Are you 469? Yes. Gladiator Industries, Patui, Pennsylvania. Yes. Boy, that's a goldie oldie. Patui. Just off of intercourse, I'm sure. Near L2. I forgot about that. Uh, I just feel bad for the random women walking around this building and, hey, can you come in here and go, yeah, I'm Gladiator. Okay, thank you. Next. Um, that's a classic. Uh, uh, by the way, the, the, the lovely... Um, the guitar stylings of Royce Campbell. Is that right? Ah. He's a, has a fine guitar playing. Uh, thank you very much, Royce. I'm sure he's a, he has a very fine jazz player. Totally embarrassed to be part of that thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, coming up in the news, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, how many uh, cups of coffee do you drink every year? We'll find out the average Americans. Grandma could have been right. You're not washing properly. Oh. And... Could climbing stairs help you live longer? We'll find out about that. All right. We got the wedding with the uh, gastro. Yes, uh, we do. Explosion. I was just looking at that when you said that. Okay. And uh, be careful. One of the things you're never supposed to buy is a used vacuum cleaner. Did you know that? I hmm. did not know that. Uh, yeah. It's on the never buy list. For, and you'll find out why coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube. It's literally just water. I uh... mouth it. Mouth it. <laughs> has, has that been throwing you guys off? Like I've been told that when I drink out of bottles, that I really like wrap my whole mouth around them or whatever. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I have no idea what people are talking about. <laughs> How we doing, fellas? One, two, three, four. Oh, you're gonna paint that barn tonight. <laughs> oh, down beside the lantern light. Oh, you Give me a strum of that. I want to see if this thing sounds good over there. Oh, that's nice. Is it too loud? No, it's great. Does that sound good, Dean? We go okay over there? Okay, good. It yeah, sounds loud, but... Yeah, um, uh, Rodney, famous for many songs. It all started here with the famous Fred song, which we uh, opened up the show with just a couple days ago. Uh, this is a sad song? No, it goes, oh, okay. uh, I'd like to sing you a song They could probably change your life But I don't have one <laughs> <laughs> she don't have a boyfriend And she don't really care and She's always real happy She's got a grin from ear to ear And she don't need no alcohol To find her happy spot She found that a long time ago And she goes there a lot Bean flicking, flicking a bean, <laughs> knocking one out like a beauty queen. No time for love, cause it's too much work. Just a flick in her bean where she won't get hurt. Flick in her bean where she won't get hurt. Well, here she comes and there she goes, dancing around on her tippy toes. Have you ever seen a woman just smile like that after sitting at home and rubbing her cat? It ain't all 
over when she gets back home. She'll be flicking that thing till the cows come home. Bean flicking, flicking her bean, knocking one out like a beauty queen. No time for love, cause it's too much work just to flicking her bean where she won't get hurt. Flicking her bean where she won't get hurt. Flicky, 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 flicky,
A recent survey reveals the average American drinks how many cups of coffee every year? Every year? Yes. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say three a day. I'm going to go 800 cups. Okay. Wow. Do you want to guess? I'm going to say 1,100. Pat, you want to guess? I know. I read the story. Oh. Ace? I, I, I've had zero. Okay. They said I'm saying average, average they said American. Average American. We all said average, it's not above average American. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> the actual answer it. is 460 cups of coffee that every seems, year. That seems low. Okay. Condu conducted on behalf of yeah. Bun, the poll of 2,000 coffee drinkers found 80% of people motivate themselves to get out of bed in the morning. What about those buns, the Bun? <laughs> idea of coffee. Now, wait a minute. Average American, does this include, like, people under the age of... 16? That would skew the I doubt results. It. Oh, I don't. A lot of young people drink coffee now, thanks to uh, the old Starbucks. Not a lot of 11 year olds, are they? Well, okay. Well, I don't. I'm asking good ask questions. Him. I don't know. I'm asking good questions. 70% of those polled uh, felt it important. To, show. This is where it gets important because of this guy. Okay. 70% of those polled felt it important to have their coffee prepared by. A skilled barista. 70%? Yes. Really? Ah. Fewer than 30% of coffee drinkers would rate the coffee they make at home excellent. I don't I don't believe How this. do you think the sales for the vending machine Coffee? coffees have oh gone? Uh, it's got to go in, down through the basement, right? Yes. It's zero. It don't must. You think? It well, it awful. just depends on where you're at, I Were guess. Were any of those good? I never... No. no. Never? N never good. Never. Okay. Oh, at never, the TV station, we called it coffee because it was stucky. Never, never gotten one. Ugh. Mm. Usually mm. tastes like the oil they use to lubricate the mechanics inside the machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's interesting that... Um, I prefer making my own coffee at home. I do, too. See, I don't. I but do. I, it's a treat to get out to get coffee out. Yeah, you grind the beans and you make your. I like oh, jeez, no! Beans. I'm talking about. I got to put a pot in the thing. I got a carrot. No, it's, yeah. a, it's a treat to get out of the house. Drive. Nah, not Some really. of us like to stay home. <laughs> drive, drive around your cool car, have some fun. So see Tom, what's what, out there in the world. What's your yearly intake? Oh, oh my would god! Be a couple thousand at least. Hmm. Man. Whoa! It's all right. No, just, it's, this it's is all right. Again, once again, Ace, this is average people. <laughs> Pat, Godwin, you and I were talking in the green room not too long ago, and <laughs> you actually looked at me, and I totally agreed with you. You go, you know, sometimes when I'm going to bed, I, I get excited about how I get to get up and have a cup of coffee. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Are you serious? I swear to God. And I, I get that. I, I get huh. excited for Saturday mornings. I'm like, yeah, I can get <sighs> up. I can watch my fishing show, have a cup of coffee, make like breakfast. In a, re in a relaxed manner. Yes. It's, it's I have I a challenge that. every Saturday morning. You What's do? That? How and quick I, you can get out of the house? I know. Because <laughs> Saturdays, as he's told us, Saturdays are brutal. Right. Mm. Get up early, deal with the dogs, and then um, I go to my place where I get coffee. It's a mom and pop place. And then I want to get Wordle done. I don't start it till I get in line. Okay. And I want to get Wordle done by the time I get up to the barista because she plays the game, too. Well, how about that? Well, so you can talk about it with her. Yeah. If I get it. Right, right. Otherwise, you can get no it. Well, I'm... Not quite done yet. How long has she worked there? How, what if she's not there that day? Well, there's another lady she doesn't play. Or so might. then you go back home and make although, breakfast for although everybody? Pat, if you ever become in the market again for a lady, this one's for you. Oh, <laughs> in the market? No, no, no. I'm good. I've, I've, I've sussed out. She's perfect for Godwin. Okay. We well, uh, don't need to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now, now I'm getting you in trouble. I'm going to wear a not for air t-shirt for now on. <laughs> for something you didn't even do. <laughs> not at all. Hey, now you're doing good. Uh, I hear you're asking Tom for girlfriends. Oh, God. <laughs> not at all what happened, babe. Uh, there's the phone. <laughs> Let me take this. <laughs> okay. I think co coffee can be said to be d our, our cutest addiction. In our cutest? cutest addiction. Yeah. Don't you think? Cute. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think it's kind of sweet. Do you ever go a day without? I have, yeah. I went months without it for a while there. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, you're not supposed to have it now. I oh, know, I'm allowed to have a little bit. I don't, I don't think so. Believe you. <laughs> Let him do whatever he wants. He's you've, Tom Griswold. <laughs> you've got He's going to do it anyway. You've got livestock in your chest. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed. So well, how do you think I like breaking the rules. How, how do you think that cow feels every time you drink that cream? Yeah, you're slapping her in the God. face. God. 
<laughs> oh, I, I think uh, now was, really I have a work. valve that is made out of cow tissue, is yes. what you're referencing. Right. I think honest. when I drink uh, real milk and uh, have extra butter, that cow goes, oh, hi, there's Sophie. I haven't seen her for a while. <laughs> Cows were put here Cannibals. for us. Mm-hmm. Let's just remember that. Really? Yes. Right. Absolutely. They're lesser, way lesser animals. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? They're for Are us. You saying if we didn't, if you didn't eat them, they'd overrun the planet. Eat them, milk them, turn them into gloves. <laughs> they're for us. Yeah, they're not turning us into food. Which actually leads to a really cool story. And you know what? They would if they had their chance. Oh, you don't I think don't, a yeah. cow would kill you and your entire family if they <laughs> yeah. had the chance? Now, listen to this. This is an interesting story. This is about um, early man. Okay. And uh, some new research about uh, what they may have been doing. This kind of involves coffee, sort of. New research suggests that early Americans, early Americans, early humans used human skulls for cups and human bones for tools. We got to get back to this. <laughs> Archaeologists made the discovery while examining deposits in a Neolithic cave near Cordoba, Spain. Oh, beautiful Corinthian. <laughs> yes. And analysis of the bones revealed a fibula and a shin bone that had been modified to serve as tools while a skull had been turned into a cup. The tibia would be the shin bone. It's right next to the fibula there. I'm very smart. This says fibula, my friend. I'm sorry. No, no, you said fibula and shin bone. I'm telling yeah. you the shin bone is the tibia. Oh, I see what you're saying. Please listen. I'm not. So is that... Exactly. I, have, I have a question for Mr. <laughs> smart Guy Josh. Has yes, please. Someone I, I got ask, him up? Ask so away. so okay. they're using human bones as tools. Is the fibula metric and the uh, tibula just inches? I think it's tibia. <laughs> First off, if, let's, uh, please don't embarrass yourself again. Tibia. Oh, tibia. sorry. <laughs> the point of the story is, Josh, they're taking their buddies after they're dead and using them as tools. I wonder if it was an honor, though. It's unclear, Josh, whether the repurposed remains were for uh, daily use or for ceremonial use. I want use. you to have soup out of my skull. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes better. We're not doing that, Grandpa. No, I want you to. <laughs> Go back to the previous story for about coffee. And yeah. Once again, the classic line, talk about a cup of joe. <laughs> I want you to use my Timmy to shovel your driveway. <laughs> I'm an optimist. I look at that skull as being half full. <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy. It had to have been. What do you, you think? Like a ritual or... Maybe. Maybe. Like he died in battle for us. We will drink from his skull. Or convenience. It's not... Now, look, I'll be honest. It's not a great cup. Most of the fluid flows through the eye holes and the nostrils. It keeps tipping over if someone could... If someone could invent a dent in the desk. That's right. We can't really set it down. We haven't invented the desk yet. (laughs) I can't wait for styrofoam. (laughs) You know something? I think these early humans, if they were around today, they'd be canceled. They would be. Yeah. Doing a lot of stuff that's just not right. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> a lot of discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. No one's ever said that. In the- I don't know. Okay, well, sorry. Um, coming up, we have what, Christy Lee? I know we're going to talk with comedian Kostaki Economopoulos, the great magician comedian Justin Willman will be our guest. I'm very excited about that. Uh, well, we have Louie Louie in the news. We have gastro problems at a wedding and... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> And uh, honey, where, where'd you go? Are you on top of the car? Yeah, a lady's driving with her husband on top of the car. We'll talk about that, top of the hood. Well, any, uh, anywhere to get to a little God, piece I, of quiet. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, 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 tell me about your mother. Hang on a second. I'm going to get up on the roof. Right. <laughs> uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, Tom here along with uh, comedian Ryan Singer, and we've been talking about Ryan's car, which has got, uh, I believe, uh, 298,000 miles on yeah. it. And uh, this is a beautiful uh, machine. It's obviously taken him all across the country many times, and Ryan would like to sell it, so I'm going to try to help him do that. I have not tried the car yet, but let's give it a quick yeah, let's, uh, review. Let's, let's check it out. Now, um, oh, the, uh, what year is this? 99. Um, oh, the driver's side handle's broken off, so you either can go into the back seat or... Oh, wait a minute. I, I think I can get it. You want me to open it? Wait a minute. From, yeah. You have to open it from the inside, okay. I think. So, yeah. But, uh... As long as you have a friend okay. with you most of the time, you no problem. I'm just I'm have them open the door in. for you. Kind of warm today here. Uh, does this thing have AC? Uh, yeah, AC works. Nice. And uh, nice. maybe I'll take that out so it's not beeping unless okay. you want to... 
crank it up, and there's a CB. I don't have it hooked up yet, but you got a CB. Nice a CB radio. This you can see CB the uh, the original social network. You can see what's your CB there. handle again? Monster Hunter. Monster so Hunter. Forever in the same three to five mile radius at the exact same time. Maybe we'll chat on channel 19. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a test on Monster Hunter testing the CB. I'm getting a lot of action right now. Well, does the CB come with the car? CB comes with the car. Not a lot of drivers around chatting right now. That's the problem. Freeway's only about 300 yards that way. I think there'd be quite a lot of action. Yeah, they're probably just, you know, it's probably a slow day out there, you know? Okay. The radio uh, does work, CD player, as you can see. Uh, oh, that's a CD right nice. there. That's nice. Uh, you know, Cap, uh, Captain Beefheart is in there right now. Oh, wow, that's sophisticated. Uh, yeah, so it's got an auxiliary plug for an iPhone or a Android or something like that. Did you install this radio? This is aftermarket. Yeah, I installed the radio and the CB because the uh, factory stopped working. Glove box opens and locks. There's a GPS. Hey, I'll, I'll even throw that GPS in there. It's a Garmin. Nice. nice. Uh, yeah. So, now, can we get a shot of the actual dashboard to see the mileage? Oh yeah. Let's see what we're at. That's two nine two ninety seven eight hundred seventy miles. So by the end of uh, next week, after the tour, I'll be over two eighty two ninety eight. Wow. So this is about to approach three hundred thousand miles. Motor sounds great. And yeah. this is a what a ninety ninety nine. 99, uh, this is a uh, Camry LE. A Camry LE. Four cylinder. Four cylinder, four door. Four door. Okay, well, let's continue the tour, shall we? Okay. Once again, we're taking a tour of this uh, beautiful 99 Camry, 298,000 miles on it. Let's head back here. Uh, nice, uh, it's got the electric window thing. Yeah. Keep the ice off the back window. Gas door, nope. You know, Good looking trunk. Yeah, trunk's got a bit, uh, lot of trunk space no, in there. Yeah, oh, we don't need the... Uh, oh, here, oh, Jesus. We don't need, uh, trunk's got lots of room, lots of room. Everything that comes in the trunk comes with the car. That's the deal. Uh, you know, it's up, uh, oh, you know, that's a weird, I, it's a weird tick on the engine. Yeah, you okay, need to turn that. That's Ryan Singer's car. Now, if you'd like to make an offer on that, how does this work, Ryan? Uh, they can reach me at my website, ryansingercomedy.com, or email ryansingercomedy at gmail.com. Make me an offer. I'll take the best offer I can get. And this is for real. This car is for sale, and it comes with everything in it, except probably the chick you had locked in the trunk. Yeah, or the luggage. The, the luggage. The luggage in the trunk. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... was flattened by Big Moose McCauley. <laughs> Moose is a sixth-year redshirt freshman <laughs> majoring in scuba diving. <laughs> Bob, there's a nice shot in the stands of his wife and five kids. <laughs> yeah. He drives a Lexus. <laughs> Hi, you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. This is Jim Gaffigan. Well, this is the studio comedian Chaz Elsner. Chaz is an actor and a comedian, but a long time ago he was a clown uh, in the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. Yes. And you indeed are a graduate of the famous uh, clown college. Which is now defunct. Which is gone. Yeah. But it, but yeah. Very tough to get into. Yeah. Very tough. Especially and, now. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Chick. Good I, observation. Thank you, thank you very much. Had a couple questions about uh, Clown College. I just was kind of—I just—it's interesting to me. I, yeah. Well, what are some of the courses? I mean, what was your mascot? Balloon blowing, or you had balloon blowing. Well, you had. Uh, second, wait, Bob has a, did you have a ma mascot? 
No, no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but that would have been funny, wouldn't yeah. it? Mm-hmm. I wish well, I was a little a more big banana. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Probably, probably maybe have something really straight, like the mascot's yeah. a guy in a suit. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. You have to provide your own explosions. Yes, I. Uh, mm-hmm. I was making a uh, hundred and thirty dollars a week. Out of that came taxes, my union dues, and there's a uh, clown there's union. A clown union? No, it's called uh, Agva. Ah. is the union. Can you uh-huh. imagine if they were on strike, though? The clown union. The funny. <laughs> the, the picket lines. And... Yeah. It'd be uh-huh. noisy. And what then... do we want? <laughs> when do we want it? <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. Bush coming up. <clears throat> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello, Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. We had an interesting news story about um, um, uh, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Yes. What was the essence of the story, Chris? Uh, they think that doxycycline might be able to be kind of a morning after uh, type of defense against STDs, but they're still looking into it. The Centers for Disease Control released the guidelines for the use of the antibiotic. The proposal comes after studies showed some people who took the antibiotic within three days of unprotected sex were far less likely to get chlamydia, syphilis, or gonorrhea compared to those who did not take the pills after sex. What I don't understand is, would this then just be an over-the-counter? You could just walk No, in? No, you're not going to get an over-the-counter <laughs> antibiotic. Well, they you could get... still call your doctor and say, hey, write me a script. It's too inconvenient. If you want to get rid of the syph... You gotta make it easy for. Well, how do they know the people they slept with had these diseases? They don't. This is all pre. See, that's what I'm saying. It, that that's why I'm, the study doesn't make sense to me. I, uh, I mean, what if all those people didn't have it to begin with? How do they know it worked? Uh, it's, it's like taking a placebo, right? You're okay. All right. Uh, I, 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 Josh got to mentioning the uh, the RU486 birth control, which the morning after pill, right, right, yeah. right, the so-called morning after pill, which is I think. Is that still legal everywhere? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know but, about everywhere, but you can uh, still get it. And then we played our classic RU 469, um, uh, which was a, a much more effective method of birth control. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I, although I suppose that there there might be some possible exchange of fluids that could. Uh, never mind. Um, uh, got a nice letter here from Melissa and Scott. Those crazy kids. Uh, Melissa and Scott are crazy kids, and they requested this. And um, let's give it a shot, see how this ties into that. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Raymond (laughs) Filatio. Thank you. As you know, the latest technique in the world of birth control is Norplant. Here at Frigamall Industries, we've gone beyond Norplant and developed a new birth control technique involving no surgery and without any harmful side effects. We call it faceplant. Using the faceplant technique, the female partner will never experience actual fertilization. However, she will experience extreme erotic pleasure. How does it work? Let's meet our subjects. Mr. and Mrs. Giuseppe Petui. Hello, Giuseppe. Buongiorno, Dr. Falladio. I'm really glad to be here. When we heard about your product, we rush right over. We can't wait to get started. All right, Giuseppe. While your wife is disrobing, I'd like like you to take these pills, please. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> All right, it's time to go to work, Giuseppe. Uh, uh, you mean... That's right, Giuseppe. Dig in. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> After ingesting just two face plant tablets, Giuseppe instantly experiences the miracle of what we call Aroma Guard. Well, Giuseppe, what do you think? <laughs> oh, it's a great, Dr. Falatio. I can't smell it. Thanks, a face plan. Face plan. You can show her that you care. Face plan. When you spend more time down there. <laughs> Faceplant. In a recent study, one half of our subjects were given faceplant, and the other half were given freshly glazed donuts. <laughs> our scientists couldn't see the difference. It's time to check in with our subjects. Giuseppe, how do you feel? Oh. Oh. 
Well, as you can see, Giuseppe's not talking right now. I guess you could say he's all clammed up. <laughs> and doesn't his wife seem to be the eager beaver? Sometimes that's just the way love goes. He wants you, but he has to hold his nose with face plans. He just can't get enough. <laughs> face plant. Where our motto is, hey, I've smelled worse. Face plant. <laughs> Altoona, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Classic. Arrivederci a Roma. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> when the world was young, yeah, yes. the Bob and Tom Band and Orchestra. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Do you like that times. one, Pat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was writing someone over here. I'm editing. I, oh, oh, you're, I you're that. writing I love, something. I love that bit. Okay. You're writing something. Oh, God, it's 17 things today. Really? I just keep going. I'm 17. always always thinking. Always How many writing. songs have we had today? One? No, geez, we, uh, do you have uh, the Tom Hanks thing? This is <laughs> yes. fascinating. We talked about AI a little bit, and it's uh, it's. You mean scary. Al? Tom Hanks is warning fans that he has nothing to do with an artificial intelligence version of himself that is promoting a dental plan. The actor took to social media and shared the computer-generated image that is being used without his permission. Mm. And he captioned the image with the text, BEWARE, all in caps. There's a video out there promoting some dental plan with an AI version of me. I have nothing to do with it. CNN said it could not independently verify the content of the dental plan ad that Hanks referenced. The New York Times said it could not find the video in question either. So it's probably been pulled down. Hmm. But uh, this is a, obviously a problem. They're going to be you're going to be seeing a lot more of this where they have celebrities and they can recreate them with artificial intelligence. Yes. You think why would they, instead of using a guy like Tom Hanks who's not noted for his big smile? And also, obviously, wouldn't need the money to be doing a local dental commercial. They should go with someone who's got a great smile and is probably pretty desperate. Like? I was thinking Gary Busey. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like his smile? He's, um... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Have favorite. you seen Gary Busey lately? I don't know if he has good teeth. <laughs> he's he's kookier than ever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nut job? Yeah, he's not. He's not. Ever yeah. since that, yeah. That motorcycle got, thing. Wasn't hit, he on hit, a motorcycle? Yeah. Hit in the yeah. head. He yeah. hasn't been well. Yeah. I, I um, no comedy uh, down there. Yeah. yeah. I, what I'm wondering is, are you going to see something like, for example, they can take a short bit of, of like, say, your voice chick, uh -huh. and they could have have it say anything you want. They wanted. Are they going to take, for example, biographies or autobiographies of people that are dead, and now have them redo the audio book? Oh, I don't know. I guess they could. They could do with, that. With, uh, hopefully with, you know, certain permission. That could actually be pretty cool. Don't you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could have Abe Lincoln read the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They don't have that. You're messing with <laughs> things we shouldn't be messing with. He had like a squeaky voice, didn't he? Wasn't yeah, Daniel Day-Lewis pretty much that's pretty what dead they say, on? Yeah. How yeah. would they know? <clears throat> I don't know how they knew, but they knew. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean. But if they did have samples, they, they could take samples of FDR and... And now Franklin Delano Roosevelt for Exxon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little bit unlikely. <laughs> now, Pat. We um, have nothing to fear but solar. <laughs> now, Pat, Pat, Exxon, Exxon, see? Pat, one of the funniest things you do, I love very much, is your, um, your Randy Newman. I've got a cavity. He's in that dental plan commercial. Oh, that's right. Got a cavity. It's ailing me. <laughs> when your teeth are causing so much pain. You don't want to throw money or down the drain. Use the Tom Hanks plan and you won't overpay. When you got a cavity. That's Aww, a, yeah. a little well, Randy Newman. That's that's such a great song, Randy's. Tom Hanks, huh? <laughs> oh, um, you just won't stop today, will you? <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> On Instigator. the air, off the air. <laughs> Is that Randy Newman's most well-known song, do you suppose? You got a Probably, friend in me. Right? Does he have one of my favorite Short albums people. of all time. Yeah. Short people. Is, is good old boys. It sure does rock, all right. <laughs> oh, Randy's a genius. Uh, if you no. say so. I yes. can't, he can't do everything, you know. What do you mean he can't do everything? Couldn't sing Neil Diamond impression like I can. You ever hear him do his Neil Diamond? No. no. Randy Newman does Neil Diamond? Sung, sung, blue. <laughs> Everybody knows one. <laughs> you know they do. Yeah. Song, song, blue. Oh, 
every garden grows one. You know that's true. <laughs> Me and you <laughs> are subject to the blues down then. <laughs> yeah, the blues, baby. <laughs> but in me, you've got a friend. Yes, the blues, baby. Oh, but when you take the blues and make a song, oh, you sing them out again. <laughs> you sing them out again. Everybody. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Song, song, blue, baby. You got a friend in you. Oh, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Song, song, blue. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thank you, Randy. Oh, Hi, good Randy, to see you, Randy slash Neil. Uh, that was very, very nice. Thank you, Pat. Coming up, Kostaki Economopoulos, our NFL correspondent, also coming up this morning. It's going to be the great Justin Willman, magician slash comedian. God, I love his. Stuff. You are very. He wants to date him. Magician. <laughs> so, so I, one of the best shows you I've seen in magic. the last few years. I saw Justin Willman in the theater. It was a fantastic show. You know he's. He's a liar. Is They're tricks. Is. They're tricks. Yeah, I know. I and saw he, him do a thing. Tricking. He's either a liar or in league with the devil. Yeah. And either way. Either yeah. way. It's great, to, it's great to observe. <laughs> I must say. I will look forward to talking me some more. with him. Make me feel like a fool. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Christy, do you have a set of 12 inch tongs? No, not with me, but I can bring some tomorrow. Oh, bring them. How okay. about some Raycon earbuds? Who wants those? Everyday earbuds? You know, Raycon's turning six years old. Did you you know that? Six years old. And Raycon's everyday earbuds are known for delivering high-quality audio and thoughtful features, like a 32-hour battery life, the perfect in-ear fit with those gel tips for all-day wear and lasting comfort. All this at half the price of other premium audio brands. No wonder they've already racked up 78,000 five-star reviews. And this past year, they expanded their entire business with the introduction of Raycon Home and Raycon Power Tech. So needless to say, there's a lot to celebrate at Raycon. And to thank everyone who's shown them support in the past six years, Raycon is offering 20% off everything on their site with select products up to 40%. Celebrate Raycon turning six with the biggest sale of the year going on now. Hurry to buyraycon.com slash Tom and use the code BIRTHDAY to get 20 to 40% off site-wide. That's code BIRTHDAY at buyraycon.com slash Tom. Score 20 to 40% off. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Love my Raycons. You'll love them, too. We get love letters about them. Read the reviews. They're great, and they're twice as good and half the price, and they'll stay in your ear. That's the key, too. Uh, now, coming up, it's going to be, as I said, Kostaki Economopoulos making fun of your favorite NFL team, plus uh, the fantastic magician uh, Justin Willman. Oh, he's a genius. I can't wait to see him. Uh, it's all <laughs> happening here. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, this is Ron White, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, you got the Bob and Tom Show app on your phone? You know someone who might like that Bob and Tom Show app? You should tell them, Psst, hey. The airport has got like magical powers. The airport's the only place where like you could be on the floor eating a salad. <laughs> and somebody will come up to you and ask you to watch their most precious things. You know, like, can you watch my bag and my kid? <laughs> Name A Jackson, you know, slot 32B or whatever, and you just go find your car. And I went there and you know, um, um, 29, 30, 31, and then there's no 32. It just started with another rental car. It's like, I know I can't ask, like, where's 32 after 31, because they might not let you take the car, you know? <laughs> Eventually, I went and asked, I was like, hey, ma'am, uh, there's no 32. It just, they're just budget. She goes, oh, we merged with budget, so that's an Avis car, so you just take that. I should have just taken the car on the off chance that there was a corporate takeover or whatever. <laughs> and then maybe drive to somebody's house and break in and go to bed and hope it's an Airbnb. What are you talking about? Like, the Olympics are my favorite four years because they give that stat every four years about how many condoms they hand out at Olympic Village. <laughs> this year, we gave away 618,000 condoms at Olympic Village, and every time I hear that stat, I'm like, why? <laughs> Those are our best people. <laughs> what if we told that kid would be perfect? It'd be good on the land and the sea. It'd be like a, a first human Range Rover. What are we <laughs> We start handing out condoms at Storage Wars meet and greets. 
a basketball fan, and they said, like, uh, if everything works out perfectly in the next three years, LeBron James and his son will be in the NBA at the same time. And I was like, no, oh, that's cool. But then I did a little math of my own, <laughs> and I figured out that in six and a half years, me and my daughter's student loans are going to overlap. <laughs> This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, hi. Uh, we're hanging out with me and Ron Ramey. Chick McGee doing double duty. Chickster, anything else? Uh, what's the most dangerous thing about uh, starting a new relationship with a girl, fellas? That, uh, that's right. What kind of pet does she have? Oh. oh. I was going to say, finding out she's a psycho. And what you does know, it mean you don't about know. her? This well, is from, maybe dep- depending on the kind of pet, you can tell she's a psycho right away. This is from yeah. HolyTaco.com. Huh? If she has a big dog... Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. What she thinks what she thinks it says about her. Mm-hmm. I'm not like those other girls with their tiny, yappy dogs. Mm-hmm. I'm a strong, confident, independent woman who's making it in a man's world. I see. What I it love, really but says. I love big dogs, though. What, what it really, really says, says about her is a big dog says, I want a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. <laughs> really? Really? What, what the pet is thinking is, please stop using me as a body pillow and grinding on me in the middle of the night. Oh, oh my. Oh, 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 oh. Grinding? No grinding? A small dog. Okay. okay. What she thinks it says, I'm not just adorable. I'm really adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so adorable that I have a living accessory. All the cool people are doing it. I'm just like a famous celebrity. What it really says, I want to be exactly like Paris. So if you're looking for a stupid, mm. annoying, talentless woman like Paris Hilton <laughs> with a little dog, I'm your girl. Really? What or maybe pet, it says, I like a little dog. What does the pet think? What the pet says, the thinks, is if that purse she carries me in is full of used condoms again today, I'm going to bite her. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my ex-wife. <sighs> this is a mean, mean website. Here's a cat. What, if she owns a cat, what she thinks it says, I'm responsible enough to care for another living creature, but... I don't want to have to pay a lot of attention to it. That's why I have an animal that I could potentially leave alone for a few days, and it would be just fine. What it really says, having a cat. I don't like having guys spend the night at my house, so I adopted one of nature's ninjas to scare off any non-regular visitors <laughs> using a razor-sharp pounce attack in the middle of the night. Uh-huh. Ouch. What the, what the cat is thinking, come on, dude, that I'm not familiar with. Show me something dangly. I dare you. <laughs> what fish. she thinks it says uh-huh. owning a fish. Fish tanks are sexy. Uh-huh. I know this is just a small bowl, but it still oozes sex. This fish depends on me, and if it lives past the first day, people are going to know that I'm responsible enough to take care of another life. What it really says, one time I had sex with a biker in the parking lot of a county fair, and he spent $26 winning me this goldfish to remember him by. I forget his name, but I call the fish Nemo. Okay. What the pet is thinking, thinking, that whore hasn't fed me in six days. (laughs) My water looks and smells like a sewer. (laughs) And finally, a parrot, uh, what she thinks it says, I enjoy having a pet that's interesting and intelligent. I am an exotic person, so I have a pet that reflects my personality. What it really says, if you own a parrot and you're a girl, my grandpa died recently. He was known to be both traumatic and painful. <laughs> Did you know that you have a choice when it comes to choosing an anesthesia? <laughs> Introducing Ed Padurl's Anesthesia City. Anesthesia City. Ed. Eddie Perduro here. When you need to get gooned on the goofy juice, it really helps to shop around. And there's no better time than now, as we're getting giddy at Anesthesia City. Mm-hmm. It's our once a year Malaise Days. Malaise Days! <laughs> Bring in your Zoo Book coupon and we'll knock off an additional 50% on scratch and dent ethers, pentothals, and nitrous. Anesthesia City! And oh yeah! Free balloons for the kids. Hey, after. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Groin pain? No, that m- music always throws me. I don't know. Oh. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> <There. Honestly, laughs> nothing's going to make you happy. Todd Godwin. I don't think. I Listen, yeah. do you enjoy this? <laughs> How do they get a keyboard to make that noise? Suck monster twins. <laughs> Are you saying there's a monster? <laughs> the twins is what he said. The suck monster twins. The suck monster They're twins. not monsters. Hi, Josh no, Arnold. The... How are you, Josh? I'm fine, Chick. How are there's you? There's Ace Cosby. Hey, oh, legend. Icon. Icon. I'm Chick <laughs> McGee. <laughs> and here's Tom Griswold. Uh, it's time now to check in with uh, the very handsome 
Kostaki Economopoulos, well, comedian. I live and breathe. Hey, Kostaki, how are you, sir? <laughs> I'm good, guys. Hi. Good morning. Hi, Hi. Kostaki. Uh, Kostaki is our NFL correspondent. Kostaki, born and raised in Georgia, currently living in Los Angeles, California. Looking for love, perhaps. Um, are you on the are you on the apps right now, Kostaki? Are you out there? Uh... No, no. I can't. I canceled Tinder because it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually have a date? No, never met a single human being. No, not one. What does that mean? Mm. That you weren't picked? How does it work? I don't understand. <laughs> Yes. Well, first day of Tinder, you feel like a king. You lay there in a bed with a beer buzz going, mm, yes, mm, large bosoms like sushi, yes, yes, yes. Uh, weird makeup enjoys craft beer, yes. Bring them all to me by Thursday. You just swipe all these. <laughs> Have them washed and brought to my tent. Yes, that's right. And then, and then, and then, and then all right. 300 swipes later, nothing. Then uh, event eventually you match with somebody and you have like a little text exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, and then like three sentences in, I'm like, oh, this isn't a woman. <laughs> this, is, this is a robot in Nigeria trying to get me to send Bitcoin. It's just a disaster. <laughs> it's, oh, How man. do you know it's a robot? Well, it doesn't. It wasn't a human exchange, and it was immediately shifting. Ah, uh, gotcha. What would otherwise be a human exchange towards Bitcoin as uh, a conversation piece? Weird. Yes, yeah, I enjoy really missionary. Weird. Have you thought about <laughs> Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I thought you'd at least get a hookup of some sort. Try Hinge. That's the one everybody's using now. What is it called? Hinge. That's Hinge. What the kids use. Yeah. Okay. What does yes. that mean, hinge? What's the... I don't know what it means. It's just I don't know what a hinge app. is. What is the connection to... Uh... Hinge. Connection? Uh, That's a fair question. Hinge, what is maybe? That? I don't know how you... Na you know, you love naming open. things. Yeah. yeah. A hinge and the doors open. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, door. That's the thing that door helps closes, facilitate door the door opens. opening. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of work yeah. to get a name for the place. <laughs> All right. What would well, you name the dating app? Why is Amazon called Amazon? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. What would you name the dating app? Uh, uh, careful. Uh, <laughs> see, Tiger. Uh, Tuna Town? Uh, see? No, yeah. sorry. Tuna That's, Town. That is, <laughs> aren't you nice? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I just, you know, whatever works, I guess, I don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, Bumble, if you didn't know, if you it were a, you would think that Bumble was some kind of, I don't know, B thing. <laughs> but, uh, right. It's best been very effective because, Saki, some friends of mine met and got married thanks to Bumble. Maybe that'll work for uh, you. All right. Bumble or All Hinge. Right. They're the new ones, newer ones. Is there one for pro is, there, is there one for prostitutes? <laughs> yeah, there are sites you can go find prostitutes. Yeah, it's called uh, Pimps, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Call them and Pimper. Uh, they pimps organize are us? things. Okay, just asking. Uh Kostaki's our NFL correspondent. We really haven't gotten to the point, have we? Um <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how this has happened. Okay, uh, Kostaki, what else is happening in the NFL? <laughs> Well, uh, after suffering cardiac arrest last season, DeMar Hamlin is back to NFL action. That's a great story. I'm looking forward to my Falcons returning to NFL action. That would be nice. <laughs> uh, the Falcons lost 23-7 to in London. Kickoff was at 6.30 a.m. Pacific time, where I am. Uh, here's the good news. My team lost before I even woke up. So that was nice. I could move on. Yeah. Uh, the Falcons wore all white in this game, which is, of course, recognized internationally as a surrender. That's, that's good. <laughs> the Euro did better in England than the Falcons. There was, ah, uh, a little Brexit I, humor. <laughs> Brexit comedy, that's right. I've, I've never been a fan of English breakfast, and the Falcons served up bangers and trash, apparently. <laughs> Uh, it's easy for the Falcons to get through uh, international security because they don't travel with any offensive weapons. So that's good. <laughs> See, that's your team. <laughs> it's my team. Oh, I got a lot of Falcon jokes. I'm so frustrated. It was a shameful performance by the birds in London. And on Jimmy Carter's birthday, no less. Yep. Jimmy is 99 years old. He's got a better chance than the Falcons of being relevant in January. It's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Falcons, at least it's not a long trip home or anything. Goodness mm, yeah. Maybe on the plane they could watch the Eagles game, get some ideas. Uh, 
The Eagles are a running team. They got running backs named Gainwell and Swift. How, how cool is that? Mm. It's on the nose, right? Meanwhile, the Falcons have offensive line players named Can't Block and False Start. <laughs> uh, that's our team. <laughs> that's, that's how we do it. Taylor Swift is more relevant to the NFL than the Falcons. Uh, <laughs> Travis Kelsey has benefited from the rumors with Taylor Swift, right? His jersey sales went up 400% this week, and he added about a million Instagram followers. So I would just like to say here on the air, mm -hmm. I can neither confirm nor deny that Taylor Swift and I are also dating. I can't, <laughs> I can't say. Can't say for sure. So she's throwing some jokes uh, into all pro lines. Yeah, sure. Yes. yes. A Jimmy Carter she's, she's joke was Taylor's. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah. She's uh she's edgy. Yeah. yeah. She, she likes to make fun of the birds, you know. It's good. They did an animated Toy Story version of this game. Mm -hmm. I would happily trade our quarterback for Mr. Potato Head at this point. <laughs> I want to see him do the characters from Frozen. I have girls, so I've heard the Let It Go song a zillion times. I would watch Elsa take a couple of hard tackles. It'd be good. <laughs> yeah. It'd be nice. Did you see on the uh, the uh, Toy Story, uh, the first down marker was the slinky dog? Oh. Is that hilarious? That's, the, that's the best part. That's, that's good writing. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> and then later in the day, I saw an ad. With NFL Plus Premium, you can rewatch Jaguars Falcons. This marketer should be fired immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Should be in an unemployment line today with our quarterback. Uh, all right, other teams, too. Eagles and Niners are the only 4-0 teams, undefeated teams. The completely defeated teams are the Bears and Panthers. <laughs> Those teams are on track to have more O's this season than Economopolis. That's a lot of O's. <laughs> oh, oh, so many. Oh, oh, I got a Greek name. You buy one of those at Wheel of Fortune, you're a winner. <laughs> <laughs> The Bears are moving to the Chicago suburbs, but their current yardage rate, they're expected to arrive there in 2050. It's going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> USFL and XFL are going to merge this year in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know where you, how you feel about it. Yeah. I, come on. It's, it's, it, it, there's none of the big names. It's just a, it doesn't work. These uh, Yeah, but Kostaki, we already have college you football. You don't understand that some of these players in the XFL, the USFL, they could be in the NFL someday. You don't you don't get it, <laughs> man. It's like a minor league What team. Chick is doing, Kostaki, that's Ace's contention. Yeah. yeah, that's Ace's. Ace, Ace loves the uh, XF, US, uh, X, I like uh, football. Triple A. He there likes football. Why well, wouldn't everybody who likes that. football? It's called college football. We have a place for this stuff. But it's, don't they play in the spring when college football isn't playing? Exactly. That's what I found out yeah. last year is that I had no idea how seasonally, uh, what do you even want to call this? When the Super Bowl was over, yes. I did not want to watch football again for until you September. You clock out for a while. Yes. It's tradition. Yes. yes. I'm I'm finally with you on an old, stodgy, white guy opinion about this. Thank I, I you, agree. <laughs> you young buck, you. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> uh, the Jets signed Trevor Simeon. Simeon, to test the theory that a monkey could throw the ball better than Zach Wilson. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but uh, Zach Wilson got a good game, don't you think? He he actually did, finally. He had the best game of his career, actually. Mm -hmm. And he, so needed to, good. he needed to have the best game of his career. I know, and then there was an ugly fumble at the end, and I'm rooting for him, but, man, it's it's a bumpy ride. All right, maybe we can close on this joke. We'll see. Uh, Patriots quarterback Mac Jones has to learn to throw balls away, like Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> so far, she's the best at it. <laughs> Just throw them away. Kostaki Economopoulos, great stand-up comedian. Also, he is the man behind all pro lines. You can play. With Kostaki, you can uh, send your jokes. You'll find all pro lines floating around the internet. Also, um, he's got a special thing that. Uh, tell me more about th this thing you've got going. Benefits the V Foundation. What exactly is it, Kostaki? Yeah, it's a pick'em league that all pro line sponsors every year. My brother's a cancer survivor. We asked for thirty dollar donation to the V Foundation. They have underwriters that pay for the expenses. Every dollar you donate goes to uh, high profile, sharp thinking uh, cancer research. And uh, it's a pick'em league. Every week we have winners. I give away tickets to shows and T-shirts and. 
Bob Kavoyan is playing. Jeff Oske is doing very well, oh, by the good. way. Uh, there's a bunch of people in there, and he's in the top several. He's he's doing great. So, Which is uh, amazing. Willie Griswold's playing. Because <laughs> Jeff Oske hasn't watched a football game in five Yeah, years. he'll admit he knows nothing about <laughs> That's football. That's great. He's killing it. Uh, Kostaki, <laughs> you're going to be on stage October 12th. It's a Thursday evening in Clarksville, Tennessee uh, at the American Legion. And then you'll be on Friday in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, the home of some of the greatest music in history, on Friday, October 13th, Kostaki, Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Excuse me, Muscle Shoals, Alabama. I like Muscle Shoals. <laughs> yeah, you're a fan. I like Muscle Shoals. We should do our next album, Muscle, muscle shows. shows. I showed you. You showed me. Bob. Sorry, Kostaki. I, I, may have, I may have over-caffeinated. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Kostaki and Muscle Shoals. Is yeah, that is. Um, I was just thinking about that... Uh, um, uh, what's the name of that documentary, Chick? Where they get, they get onto Muscle Shoals, and it's really uh, it's really interesting. I, for, I forget the name of the all the uh, great musicians that came out. Anyway, I'm sorry. The main room is the name of the place in Muscle Shoals on Friday, <laughs> October 13th. You can see Mister Economopolis. I think it might be Muscle Shoals. <laughs> it, I don't remember. I don't, I don't think. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, now, Kostaki, I want to get back to this dating thing. Oh, really? No, okay. I mean, you know, are, are you officially divorced? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've been separated for over a year and a half. I'm, I'm, I'm single. I just not interested. I just, I just replaced my wife with poker, and that's way easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and cheaper. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, where, where do you play poker? You poker in the back or in the front? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 all right. Well, it's it's liquor, liquor, up, it's liquor, liquor, liquor in the front. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. Poker, poker in the back. Poker in the rear. Oh, poker in the rear. Okay, there you go. Joke about sodomy. Joke. Okay. A lot of sodomy. A lot of t-shirts. Man, you're not. Come on. You got to be interested in seeing another woman at some point. Come on. I it, yeah I you know what it is I realize I I when I when I go golfing with buddies I like I liked all the trappings of golf I like the drinking I like the trash talking I like to have a communal event but I don't care about the golf mm -hmm. and I feel exactly the opposite about sex can we just have the sex I don't want all the other trappings <laughs> yeah that's 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 why you're alone. <laughs> Well, I know. Even if you I feel like that, you never this, say it out loud. Fine with it. So that's I'm why you need totally a prostitute. Fine with it. Yeah, I was going to say, just pay for it then. <laughs> Even that is so. I'm not interested. I just, you know, what it is I, when my when we when we parted ways. I feel it's a little bit like, um, like like when a wide res, when a NFL team gets rid of a diva wide receiver. Like you miss them sometimes, but it's quiet. It's nice. Yeah. Enjoy yeah, it's yourself nice to, for right now. You're fine. It's nice to have just me and <clears throat> just me. It's good. You, I'm enjoying you'll, me. You'll get now. back to it, but, but you'll know. Yeah. Enjoy it. That's right. I think I think I'm still no. in the no, what it's you a need, little hard to no, do no, all the you things. You need to get out there and dive right in to make Tom happy. That's exactly <laughs> what you need. <laughs> no, I just want to hear about a couple of disastrous dates. That's all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you never want the that. positive, do you? You always want you think, you, know, you think you'd that. like it if Kostaki called and said, oh, you're not going to believe this. I met the perfect woman. My life is great. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I'd be very no happy good. for that's her. Boring. It'd be wonderful. <laughs> you like being happy for other people? Yes. <laughs> I, do, I do, too. Wait a minute. Hang on. I think I, think I might be with Tom on this one. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with Christy on oh, this Oh, we one. know you guys are <laughs> No, I just... It's just... It, it, well, that pisses me off more. That's why I'm excited for Kostaki now. He's happy. Yeah. No, yeah, that's right. Right. Well, we'll keep calling. We'll put a stop to this. <laughs> go, Tom. Go, baby. Go see Kostaki. He's great live. Uh, October 12th, Clarksville, Tennessee. Uh, that's a Thursday, Friday night. Muscle Shoals. That Alabama. is the name of the documentary. Is it just called Muscle Shoals? Yes. Okay, sorry. A and bunch a thank you to the people of uh, Oregon and Northern California. I had a great weekend running around telling some jokes this weekend. It was All great right. Fun. So Good. Thank you, guys. Good. Thanks, Kostaki. Yeah. We'll talk to you next week. Have fun being See by guys. yourself. See you, man. Yes. <laughs> Next week, I want a disaster date story. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Did to drop her off or kill her? Something like that. <laughs> you never share your disaster date stories. We're all just puppets, aren't we? No, uh, Tom shared a few. I've, asked, I've told you a couple. In the green room. You said the one about your friend who ditched his date. That was funny. Yeah, but you never... 
Are you playing with your sugar packets? That better be your sugar packet. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or you. The know. rhythm oh, sounded yeah. a little. <laughs> Boy, you are. That's are a lot you, of coffee. Yeah. Are you yanking your wiener over there? Oh, oh, the grizzle over there. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. trying to beat the band. You know, I, I knew you liked to see people fail, but, but this yeah. is ridiculous. Oh, that's a disaster, Dad. I took it for coffee. He started whacking it right there. It's sack time. We're the last 30, <laughs> we're the last 30 seconds of the video now. <laughs> Can you leave oh, yourself sorry. alone? That was my pen. Sorry. Oh, it oh, was clicking. Right. I can't oh, you, hear it. You're... Don't go over there, Mark. Tom's playing with himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's wearing glasses. He's okay. Mark's a bit jitter. I mean, Tom's a little jittery this morning. Hmm. Hey, I don't know if you heard this, but the Powerball jackpot climbed to an estimated $1.2 billion. I'll wait until it's at 1.4. After no one beat the immense odds and won the giant prize last night, winning numbers drawn 12, 26, Which is it? 27, Powerball, 43, 47, and the Powerball was 5. Powerball. That means next drawing Wednesday night, 1.2 mil, winners taking cash option, $551 million. Wait, wait, I said 1.2 billion. 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 555, 551 uh, million. And Patty G, you've taken yes, your hat off. Yes, yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, out a little bit. Uh, Mr. McGee wisely compared you to? Pat Smear. The guitarist. From no. Foo Fighters and also the Germs. Um, yeah. Got this nice letter from Berryville, Arkansas. Uh, Susan writes, uh, good morning, goofballs and Christy. I just wanted to say to Pat how terrific he looks. See, Pat? Way, way better and younger. Have a good one. There you go. That's a fake email. I wrote that. <laughs> oh. I thought Berryville sounded a little suspicious. It's not even a town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's lovely there. Thank you very much. You look great, Patty. Yes. Oh, thanks. Okay, now. A silver fox. You look like um, my grandfather. Oh, oh, stop it. And your grandfather was hot. He was hot. Oh, boy. I want to remind everybody that uh, we are about to begin week five of the pro football season. Uh, Thursday night it starts, and you can... Uh, Oh, He's going to kill you. I hope so. <laughs> you really, you, you have no you idea too. how ready I am. Stop you, talking you, you like long, that. You long for the relief that death will bring. Oh, oh stop. I don't know when I said that, but those words have never been true. Oh, um, we do have, you need a um, hug? Shut up. The pigskin pick and competition week five. Get your entries in before the Thursday night game starts. Just pick the winners. You don't have to go with the spread or anything else. Just pick the winners of those games, and you could be like Ms. Alex Virgil. She won week three. We'll find out who won last week tomorrow, I think. We'll look forward to finding out that. Uh, coming up, the great uh, comedian magician Justin Willman will be our guest. I'm very excited about that. Right now, I'm excited about some great food this fall from HelloFresh. HelloFresh knows we are all busy. Schools back together, blah, 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 blah. You got you don't have time to do all this stuff, but that's why HelloFresh saves you a ton of time and a ton of money. They do the shopping. They go to the grocery store. They buy the stuff. They give you the recipes. Oh, and they've also measured everything. You just put it together. They've got a whole bunch of quick and easy options, too, including their 15-minute meals. Christy Lee, you got one? Uh, the blackened chicken penne with charred poblano and Monterey Jack cheese. This is a very easy recipe to put together. They send you all of the wonderful ingredients, six easy steps, and you have dinner on the table in less than 20 minutes. Yum, yeah. yum, yum. Hello Fresh, America's number one meal kit. The food is absolutely delicious, and you helped. Once again, they've done the shopping. They've done the measuring. You just put it together right now, 50% off plus free shipping if you use the code 50BTSHOW. So go to HelloFresh.com slash... 50 BT show. Once again, free shipping. When's the last time you heard about that? Plus 50% off. The code is 50 BT show at HelloFresh.com slash 50 BT show. By the way, some cool new stuff like the mini pumpkin cheesecakes just mm. right for the season. HelloFresh. Take the stress out of mealtime. You don't have to think about it. Here's the box. Put it together. And voila. Great, great food. HelloFresh.com slash 50 BT show. Coming up. Magician Justin Willman will be our guest. And we have more stories from the news desk with Christy Lee. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1 888 Bob Tom 1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hello. And we've had a wonderful morning because we have a terrific guest in the studio. He's sitting next to Christy Lee. It's a. a veteran of uh, many years with a guitar 
A guy who... I thought you were going to say bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, uh, Pat, I tried. Uh -huh. well, this is why well, I get the on. reputation uh -huh. of being the dick in the show, but no, uh -huh. I'm trying to do no, something no, no, nice. No, 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 no you are the, the dick, dick on the show. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> who um, put the dick on the show? Uh, <laughs> I blamed it all <laughs> on me. Uh -huh. See, this, this is, I'm, I'm not going to say anything until I'm introduced. Oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, Pat, Pat Daly. Daly is here with us. Thank Pat. you. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. Hi, Pat. No, Pat. Good to see you. You do an annual residency, if you will, at Sloppy Joe's. Uh, the that's the place that does the famous Hemingway look-alike contest every year. Yeah, yeah. and you, you you could actually, and you win every year. You don't could you? certainly <laughs> place in that. Uh, They've been after me for a lot of years to do that. And now I say I'm too old. He shot himself last year. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh huh. Let me play a song for you. Okay, please. Okay. Ohio is having a blizzard. Missouri is having a flood. Oh, I can't read the paper. It's too small. Uh, it must be the martinis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you Where's like, that music stand? Would you like yeah. chicks Okay, readers? here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you want my cheaters? Okay, let me start over. Okay. Ohio is having a blizzard. Missouri is having a flood. Most of the South is having a drought. And Malibu's having a slide in the mud. San Francisco is having an earthquake. They say she won't last through the year. The whole country is reeling in recession. And I'm having one more beer. <laughs> The world's on the brink, but there's time for a drink, and I'm having one more beer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. My sister is having a breakdown. My son is having a toke. My dad is having his old emphysema. And I feel like having a smoke. <laughs> My buddy is having a sexual crisis. He's smiling at me kind of queer. Uh -oh. My secretary is having her pregnancy test. And I'm having one more beer. I'm having one more cold one. Fill it all the wall and disappears my wife's having fits in and cats having kits in and i'm having one more beer my daughter is having her nose pierced my mom is having her butt tattoo <laughs> my brother is having an affair with my wife uh oh Guess who's the one getting screwed? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're having heart palpitations <laughs> about the way things are heading around here, just give that waitress a pat and tell her that I'm having one <laughs> more here. here. Jeez, I'm going to have to practice that one. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> I couldn't read my words. That's all right. I don't know why. I'm going to get them up this close now. Stick around. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Fifty-nine ninety-five. You can send her the 
I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet. The I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet proclaims your lust for her in the most romantic way possible. The bouquet of lovely fresh flowers says, let's do it. And my loins ache. Your wedding vows didn't include a vow of chastity, but you're not going to see any action unless you act now. So pick up the phone and order the I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet right now. That's the I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I order you some flowers bouquet. With one phone call, you can cover your ass and get some ass. It's a win-win. <laughs> Call now, because when Cupid shoots his arrow on February 14th, you won't be shooting anything unless you get her some flowers. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential Morning Radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Oh, with us in the studio, comedian Chad Daniels. Your wife is a college professor. Yes. Are you a college man? No. Oh. That's that makes for interesting yeah, it does. contrast. Uh huh. And her friends uh, always remind me of it. Oh, really? Oh, really? Are they all college professors as well? Most of them. Mm hmm. We were out getting dinner one night, and her friends were like, so, Chad, have you ever had Indian food? And I was like, hello, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Aren't you that's a history enough. professor? Yeah. Uh, didn't you know that? She has one friend from England that's always bragging about their language. We invented your language. You did not have a language if it wasn't for us. Well, you spelled pneumonia with a P, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Nat starts with a G, and you're bragging about that? And she goes, you know what? They're silent. You know what? You better be silent before I stab you in your face with a knife. <laughs> this is Reno Collier, and you're listening... <laughs> Detail. <laughs> well, welcome up right back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Yeah. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, the, Chip. the performance room. Oh, yeah. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. Oh, well, I'm a muckraker, aren't I? You're just, a I'm troublemaker. Just, just yeah. raking muck. Yep. Yeah. There's Ace Cosby, <laughs> hey. the icon. I'm Chick McGee, hey. and here's here's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much, Chick McKee. Oh, you're welcome. Um, it's time now to yes, uh, check into the world of uh, <laughs> actual comedy. Rules that sex and with a deep voice. Well, well, well. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Chick. <laughs> yes, Ace. Man, Halloween right around the corner. I know. A have you ever noticed witches wear uh, name tags? <laughs> No, Halloween, I've never noticed that witches <laughs> wear name tags, eh? Of course they do. You want to know which witch is which, which, which? That's right. <laughs> you absolutely want to know which witch is which, which, which. Yeah. Okay, I feel like somehow, <laughs> with what I'm doing, I'm endorsing this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're, you're, you're part I'm, of the team. You're guilty by association. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, coming up, comedian uh, slash magician, one of my favorites, Justin Willman. Liar. Oh, no, I love Justin Willman. I just saw No, no, no. no he's he's saying, saying magicians, you're a liar. magicians are liars. Magicians are liars. Are liars. So slide a hand. They could pick your pocket. Oh, it's great. No, thank love you. that. Uh, Christy Lee. Did I scare you? Yes. Oh. I'm terrified. Okay. Christy Lee's got some news. He could be in here right now, and you wouldn't know. He's invisible. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> <laughs> what about that? He could pop out of the center of this thing right now. How about that, that for would a trick? Be a trick. You th say hello to him on Zoom, and he goes, wait a minute, I'll be right back. He goes, leaves the door, comes in the studio. How would that be for a trick? Oh, man. Well, that'd be easy. He could be zooming in the other room. Uh, editor's note, this will make anything he does quite less. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, I'm sorry, Christy. A couple's you. wedding guests were hit by a massive gastro outbreak. What does that mean? Rebecca and Brody Fitzgerald were warned ahead of their wedding reception at the park in Melbourne on September 16th that the venue had been linked to a serious gastro outbreak. Fart, fart, fart. They were told the venue had been deep cleaned and were reassured that they would be fine to move ahead with the planned event. In the wake of the couple's happy day, 26 of the guests experienced fever, nausea, and vomiting. Oh. I cleaned that up. There was more. <laughs> How uh, could there be more? Well, you know, something new, something borrowed, something brown. <laughs> oh, no. Some sort of diuretic uh, or, or diarrhea. diarrhea. Not a diuretic. You could have said diarrhea. You were going to bring it up anyway. Well, I wasn't. You just did. <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> I can't believe you left diarrhea out of the story. I can't either. Can't help myself. Don't bury the lead. <laughs> Fortunately, the bride wore white. <laughs> For, fortunately? Yeah, yeah. yeah, unfortunately. I guess it's, fortunately, the, the mother of the bride did not wear white. Is uh, that how that works, Christy? 
The no mother one, of bride is not supposed to wear white. No one's supposed to wear white at a wedding, right? Except, Except the for the bride. Okay. Right. I went to a wedding when I was in high school that the uh, mother of the bride wore black. <laughs> That's not happy, was she? Not happy. That is a real... Whoa. Oh, she was ready to tell anybody yeah. why she wasn't uh, happy. Whoa. How, how did it turn out, the, the marriage and everything? No, oh, they got divorced. But the point <laughs> is, <laughs> she was right. Uh, okay. Authorities in Missouri say a woman drove seven miles with her husband clinging to the hood of her car, <laughs> according to a report from the Berkeley Police <laughs> Department. Man. The 38-year-old woman and her 31-year-old spouse got into a verbal argument that turned physical. The woman got into the couple's car to leave when her husband climbed on the hood of the vehicle in an apparent attempt to prevent her from driving away. Love. <laughs> Editor's note, I've seen this in action. It doesn't work. The police report, the woman left the residence with the victim still on the hood of the vehicle, traveled recklessly at different speeds. Police say she even made her way onto I-70. An officer caught sight of the car, gave chase, though the woman continued to drive an additional half mile before pulling over. So is this guy holding on to the windshield wipers? I, she was, he was probably holding on to where the hood and yeah. the windshield wipers meet. You know that God. little space right there? Uh, honey, I, honey, I, I take it back. <laughs> You're right. Uh, no, pull over. We'll talk about it, honey. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> please, dear God, pull over. Please. <laughs> 100% right. Uh, uh. The 38-year-old woman was arrested and charged with domestic assault and resisting arrest. What if Wait. it was What if it was a foreign car? Would it be domestic assault? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Sorry. Just, honey, we, that is so <laughs> wonderfully stupid. <laughs> honey, we both said things we, we didn't yeah. mean. Yeah. <laughs> My God, pull over. <laughs> You're acting like a not well, Here the <laughs> medics, yes, medics, pulled, uh, medics yeah. pulled 13 bugs out of his ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> that had to have been terrifying. Uh, I weigh 70? Yeah. I, I did you if you keep reading he said maybe next time I'll pick the restaurant. I guess they were having that fight. Uh, oh, you fight over restaurants, do you? It's a common one. No, no, oh, of course not. Oh, of course I just not. want to see if they're Oh, wait a minute. I just saw a picture of her. Yep, yeah. I believe it. Oh, all right. Mm, there he okay. is judging a book by Yeah, it sure is. Isn't another he? dirty leg. No, mm -hmm. I'm judging a book by the haircut. Oh, boy. Oh, yikes. What does he look she like? She must have short hair. I know what she looks like. But yikes. <laughs> yikes. Short hair can be very attractive. Yeah. yeah. She doesn't have short hair, just bad hair. Bad hair can be very attractive. Yeah, so Someone boy. called you a flock of seagulls online, by the way. Oh, yeah. They're... Pat. I don't think that's a compliment. No. That's I mean, I don't think your hair looks like no, that. It's not, that's not you said, don't have a mohawk at all. Put your hat back on and you look like flock of seagulls. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take what that. What are you advice. doing? Don't. I don't. Dot, dot, dot. Love you, Pat. Is what it says. <laughs> that's what it says. All right. You look great, Pat. I read all the emails you, I get. You do look great. More than 60 bands in Oregon are set to participate in a live 24-hour marathon tribute to the song Louie Louie. Worth a damn. <laughs> you love this? Is it a marching band? Yeah. No, I... What she's talking about. It's not a... That's not 60 marching bands. Yeah. You're the one who came up with the marching band. What the hell's thing. wrong with you? You saw over... How many, <laughs> how many bands? 80? That's 60, the original. According to the Portland Tribune, the marathon honors the 60th anniversary of the most famous and infamous song ever recorded in Portland. Uh, Over 60 acts are slated to 60. perform. And what he heard was, oh, it's a marching band. Oh, it's a marching band, yeah. Ooh. Including the current lineup. <laughs> now He's we just going to go. try to prove you wrong now. <laughs> this is recorded at the event. <laughs> that hasn't happened yet. That's, a, that's, a, that's how good. That's how good our engineers. Are. <laughs> I told you it was marching band. Over sixty acts are slated to perform, including the current lineup of the Kingsmen. Oh, that's yeah. that's, that's got to like, be. That's got to be. Boy. Maybe one guy. Oh, I doubt it. The local band they that released. They fired the guy that sang it before it became a hit. The best-selling rendition in 1963. The newspaper notes the song's popularity was fueled by an FBI investigation into allegations of dirty lyrics. You can't understand it. It's got to be dirty. Yeah. Can you imagine what we know now? How J. Edgar Hoover lost his mind and wanted this done away with as he was wearing fishnet stock. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> fascinating. Boa. What a yeah. world. The marathon which is scheduled to start at 6 p.m. on October 7th, was organized by the Louie Louie Committee Committee. All right. Okay, that's <laughs> very funny. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the official committee committee for Louie Louie. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. 
Dude. Don't you love it when a band, marching bands play that? No. No, I, I never why, heard it before. I don't know why we have to listen to it. Oh, this a, has nothing to do with a marching band. It's no. A, it's a pep band staple. This story has nothing. It's a pep nothing... band staple. Absolutely. <laughs> You're not... I bet there are hundreds that? of people listening that have been in pep he's bands. It's not, not listening to a thing we're saying. No, because he has it in his head. Why? You need to be honest. Why did you say, hey, I'll get a marching band version? Because my, my, both my sons were the pep band in high school, and they played this all the time. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. So, see, there all you right. go. They okay. sit there in the stands and say, don't you love a great pep band? <laughs> <laughs> we're Maybe ask, if my kid was in it. Like we're going to ask Willie tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll find out. Um, we did the Louis Louis Parade from Philly every year. What was that? That was just a band like a truck that went all around oh, town. Oh, boy. That's a, yeah, I know. It was right. a bore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fight, God. Fight broke out at the end. That's Philly. Uh, come, uh, coming up, we're going to uh, uh, hang out with magician Justin Willman, one of my favorites. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. Um, this is the bu- This is the Bob and Tom show. Hey, hi. Uh, with us in the studio, comedian Sal D'Amelio and Scott Dunn. Hey, you know, this, uh, mm-hmm. Scott, anything else in your life of interest these days? Well, I just bought that van. So we're oh, still that's right. We're, oh, saving we're, that. Van. we're enjoying that. Oh, van. Now, 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 van or minivan? Minivan. I, mm-hmm. In this day and age, everyone just assumes minivan when you have children. I would think. How many <laughs> people have the conversion van? Is that what they're called still? Oh, I would, big... like, I would love a conversion van, but yeah. Really? Is that where you can convert it into a bedroom? Bed, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boudoir. Sweet. No, no, no. Really? Yeah. Knock one out on the way, down, going down the road. Let's pull yeah. onto that rest stop, honey. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to leave the kids at the previous rest stop. <laughs> well, <laughs> because, uh... Uh-huh. Well, none of them are going to be there. I, uh, well, you know, buying a car is a grind. I haven't bought a car from a dealership. It is a, like a two-hour, three-hour grind. That's tough, yeah. And so you don't want to be stuck with some idiot. No. You want to professional you want sure. somebody so i've done a, a little list of how you can tell whether your car salesman's professional or unprofessional all right okay good okay, okay we'll see. all right uh you know a big bonus to these minivans is the dvd player in the back oh, oh sure yeah. sure so if your salesman wants to show you how to operate it that's professional mm-hmm. if he makes you go an extra hour on the test drive so he can watch the nude scene from american pie <laughs> <laughs> Unprofe- <laughs> unprofessional unprofessional <laughs> unprofessional yeah you're right okay same token, you're buying a minivan for your family. Mm-hmm. So if he wants to show you the storage capacity, professional. If he wants to show you some great places to hide your weed, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Now, I understand that buying a car is negotiation. I'm trying to get a good deal. He's trying to make money. Mm-hmm. So telling me my offer is too low, understandable. Okay. Spitting in my coffee, unacceptable. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> wow. Yep. On the same token, while we negotiate, if he tells you he needs to leave the room to go talk to his manager, that's probably okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. If he tells you he needs to leave the room to go drop a deuce, <laughs> not okay. <laughs> not okay. <laughs> Too much information. Wait. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty bucks never killed anybody. <laughs> well, he's never done this before. <laughs> Use cars, Christy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this one's for the ladies, Christy. Yeah. If your car salesman offers you free financing... Yeah, that's great. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If he offers you a free mustache ride, <laughs> not, not great. No. It depends on what he looks like. I there you there go. go. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Depends how cheap you're getting this car. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. and what do finally, I have to do to get you into this car? <laughs> <today>? <laughs> and finally, if your car salesman tells you that the van is a certified pre-owned car, uh-huh. that's professional. Yes. If he tells you it's a certified poon wagon, <laughs> <laughs> unprofessional. Ah, uh, the old But good to know. <laughs> yeah, but good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh-huh. Hey, it's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, powered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. <laughs> oh, is that where you go? Are we eligible?
day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Morning laughter <laughs> <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hands off my feet. <laughs> Bob and Tom Radio. Time now for Flash Traffic with the fastest man in the world, nine-time Olympic gold medalist, Carl Lewis. And now we go to our uh, flash traffic reporter, Carl Lewis, with uh, traffic on the west side. Hey, Bob and Tom, I'm on the west side, and traffic looks great. Now I'm going to run over to the far east side and take a look at traffic conditions over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm on the east side now. Everything looks smooth over here. Want me to check the north side? Uh, sure, Carl. All right, here we go. Oh, guys, traffic is running off the fine up here up north. Anything else you need? Uh, listen, Carl, uh, can you check south side traffic? I know it's a long way. You could uh, also pick up an iced tea for me, venti uh, green iced tea at Starbucks on your way, if you don't mind. Okay, okay, that's a little step, but I'll get there. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that was kind of a, a detour, but here, two splendors just like you like it. Uh, thank you very much, Carl. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, 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 Carl, could you come back to the studio to sign some photos for us? Oh, okay, I can do that. Sure thing, Tom. <laughs> <sighs> Made it. All right. Give me a pen. <laughs> this has been Flash Traffic with Carl Lewis. <laughs> hey, this is Henry Phillips, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. I think the fetching the towel deserves a thank you. The one guy called Thanks. in that. Yeah. Tossing the towel to you. Mm -hmm. Sure, that, that deserves Thanks. a thank you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to do a thing where you, you come out with a hand towel and you go, oh, wait a minute, you probably want this one, and you then you throw the like, big, <laughs> big wet towel. towel. No, you, you don't. Know, implying What's something you were talking about earlier? Stadium your, beers. Your money it. shot you were saying was <laughs> so? Oh, it's it's, it's uh, like 24 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if this is with age, but I don't, I don't have a, I don't really have what you'd call a money shot. <laughs> <laughs> Mine just kind of quietly leaves the party. <laughs> it's more of a will you take a check shot. <laughs> kind of just slip just out the side just door. Just kind of moseys out. <laughs> that, is my, that is my favorite joke of the year. <laughs> just kind of quietly leaves, leaves the party. The party. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> We appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Right? <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Bob and Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Say hello, Tom. Ace Cosby, the icon and the legend. That's him. Okay, man. Very, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Coming up, Justin Willman, magician, is going to be our guest. I'm very excited about that. I want to remind everybody that we have pigskin... Um, uh, now you got me thrown off. Pigskin pick'em. <laughs> How'd we throw you off? Because I was waiting for him to play that stupid sound effect that I hate. Oh. What are you talking about? Mommy's little piggy. <laughs> It's uh, the uh, pigskin pick'em competition. We are now in week five officially, and uh, you got to get your entries in before Thursday evening. Just pick the winners in the NFL. You could uh, win the beautiful Big Green Egg Mini Max, the Rolls Royce of outdoor cooking devices. Right now, we return to the news desk with Christy Lee. Scientists are reminding you to clean behind your ears and between your toes as the skin and those crevasses can host a collection <laughs> of unhealthy microbes. Researchers at the GW, Com oh boy, Computational Biology Institute. Holy heck. Yeah, no, right? Said they were testing what they call the grandmother hypothesis when they took a closer look at the skin microbe of healthy people. After recruiting 129 students who provided swabs from behind their ears, between their toes, and in their navel, researchers discovered grandma was right. Spots that are often neglected during washing can harbor different types of bacteria. Hmm. Researchers, researchers said that when unhealthy microbes take over the skin's micro, uh, microbiome, the skin diseases like eczema or acne can crop up. How there about you that? Go. 
Hmm. You know, never heard that? Don't you grow taters behind your ears or something? Do you wash behind your ears? Sure. I'll yeah, look, I, I don't. Do they mention the gluteal cleft? <sighs> I mean, you got to go deep there. I guess oh, we knew. Deep. There we I go. Guess we knew that was coming. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Do you have a separate soap for your face? Than yeah, you do? I have a special washcloth. They're like disposable that I use on my face. In the shower? Mm -hmm. oh. Do you have a special one for the backside or do you have like a system? <sighs> <laughs> you know, you do everything else. Then when you get to the rear, you... Well, I, use a, I use one of those poofs everywhere <laughs> else. But but your butt. <laughs> and then if you really want to know... Uh, it's Tom, uh, wait a second, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. The same disposable washcloth that I just used on my face, I can use back there and then throw it away. And oh, I don't have okay. to worry about it. All right. Disposable. You just don't want to reverse yes. the, throw it away. Oh, They're disposable. Huh. And like a paper towel? It's smaller than that. Just a tiny little, it already has soap in it. Chick, do you have a separate wash for your face than the rest of your body? I do not. I have a body wash and uh, I have a conditioner oh. and a shampoo. Okay. Ace, you got a special... Uh, I don't use regular soap on my face. I use oil of Olay, Olay cleaning pads and... Uh... Well, 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 well. All well. right. That's what I use. Oil of Olay. Well. Disposable Aren't you facial too tissue Nancy's things. delightful. Do you have a special just, face wash? Just once a week because... Yes. I have a face and beard wash that I use all over my face and then I get behind the ears. Oh. That. I'm part of a study right now. I'm using a new product. Oh, uh -huh. what, baby shampoo? No, it's called Taint That a Shame. It's oh, yeah? A, it's a special pad <laughs> that you just use between... <laughs> taint oh, that, okay, taint. yeah. What is it? Taint That a Shame? Taint That a Shame. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> taint That a Shame. Special pad. It's yeah. Very limited use, but sure. very effective. You use baby shampoo everywhere? Sure. Atta boy. What do you mean? Like I use your... ivory soap in this soap and then baby shampoo. Okay. Okay, yeah. On your face? Yep, I've, ivory. ivory. Are you yeah. aware of anything that's been manufactured? It dries your skin out, doesn't it? Uh, oh. in, in this century. Look at this. Look at this skin. It's beautiful. <laughs> Dry as a you know, popcorn fart. I would, uh, <laughs> I would pay anything for that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. You have lovely skin. That's Thank you very good, much. Good upbringing. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, what about the belly button stuff? What's in there? Lint. You got a lot of lint in there? I don't. Do you? I clean my belly button. You know, yeah, you, could, sure. you, you, you know, Josh has been saying you've been leaving money on the table. Um, oh. You could get those little tiny, uh, they're like test tubes. Yeah. Clean out your belly button. Belly button lint. Put it in there, put the lint in there and go online. No, I'm, I'm, and you're I'm only fine. Page. I'm doing okay. Yeah, that's, that's really, ugh. That's, yeah. a car, ugh. that's a car payment a month, Christine. Ugh. It probably is. That's all right. Oh, boy. Hey, you want to stay younger? Well, common household activities such as climbing stairs and cleaning could help. Yeah, right. A study from the University of Sydney analyzed data from 25,000 people who were tracked with a wearable device on their wrist <laughs> and found the short bouts of movement, 10 minutes or less, of moderate to vigorous intensity were associated with steep decrease in major cardiac-related events such as heart attack or stroke and death by any cause. Experts said the findings suggest choosing the stairs or speedily sweeping up could lower your risk of heart disease. Okay. I'm glad to have one of the kids to get this. Hey, Mom, you have to clean my room. You're going to drop dead. <laughs> <laughs> that Roomba's staying really healthy. Yeah. God, I haven't broken out my Roomba yet at the new house. Really? Or yeah. don't you have to program it and the whole thing? Or does it... Yeah, it just you, bounces, you plug just it bounces and, around. And it... it yeah, it... Memorizes stuff. Yeah, I, I never really got into it, but it's it's for dog hair. It's pretty handy. Uh huh. Goes around. I don't have that problem. Not good with dog poop. No. No. No, not at all. Yeah, Although that, so, some could say it makes it worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah, but I think the newer ones actually don't they go around it? Do they? Really? I think there's some kind of hmm. sensor. I'm not sure. I have a. Was it smell it? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it stops and sniffs. Question. Yeah. I think that's poop. And then it uh, moves around. Moves around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good Roomba. Good boy. Okay. Um, now, uh, what else is happening at the news desk? A Florida family has welcomed their third daughter, born on the same day in four years. Well, that's creepy. Ms. Sari Turner gave birth to a baby, Juliet, on September 3rd, two years to the day after her sister Jessica was born and three years to the day after Jasmine was born. Yeah, but so it would appear that, it would appear that uh, 
That's nine sometime. months prior. Yeah. Is their anniversary or, or somebody's birthday? Are these induced at all? Uh, the girl's father, Jeremy, told Good Morning America that the surprising but joyous coincidence does come with some logistical hurdles when it comes to birthday celebrations. He said they have found out that when singing happy birthday, saying their daughter's names in descending age order is the <laughs> best strategy. Boy, they're going to hate that when they're older. Were these natural births? Or That's they, all I know. You know there's I want to know if they were, because if it was induced, they could pick the day. That's exactly right. Yes. You don't need to know this information? No, I don't. <laughs> well, Josh. I'm fine with it. Josh, I'm not going to be able to get through the day. <laughs> Josh, they, they have a limited window where they can pick the day. Yeah, still. You can't be, well, the baby's... The baby's due October 1st. Uh, we'd like to wait till December 3rd. Yeah, you're going to have to hold it in, toots. <laughs> so this would well, also... Well, maybe they wanted it that way. would also indicate that they had had um, intercourse more or less at the same time. Right. Successfully. Therefore, maybe, that's, is, maybe that's the only time of year they ever do it. Hang maybe. On. Oh, yeah. Hang on. He's going to make a point. Yes. No. I mean, hey, December 3rd's here. Time to do it. Turn over this time. <laughs> Turn over. <laughs> God. And what else... Might she, might she say, might the, uh, uh, <laughs> if we were to hear a quote from the mom here, perhaps uh, a certain position that she would she would enjoy? Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> do doggy. Oh, no, because the the why, the mom-to-be would say, Take me like a dog, Elvis. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Chick, could you play that on cue if I give you a look? What, oh. what, what would the look be? It'd be this. I'll just give you the big eyes. Oh, big the big eyes. eyes. Okay. Here we go. Remember okay. the old lady, and that's how this whole thing started. Is this okay. the parachute jump? No, it's the yeah, that yeah, exactly. I'm 103, and I have two new hips. <laughs> Fell out of bed. Oh, many many slips. <laughs> I may have a rod in my back and a ceramic pelvis, but. Take me like a dog, Elvis. <laughs> Take me like a dog, Elvis. <laughs> is what she said. Yeah. Woo. That worked out nice. <laughs> She's jumping out of a plane, but there's a guy behind her, the, the jump master. Sure, and, yeah. She, so she, he's in back of her, you right. see, as they yes. plummet to earth. Mm -hmm. And she loved it. That's what she wanted, yeah. yeah. Suppose the guy you know, screws around a little bit going, well, I didn't tell you this, but... Today's my last day on Earth. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Only satisfaction I have is knowing you'll hit first. Oh. <laughs> See you on the other side. Okay. Well, fortunately, that did not happen. Oh, okay. Um, now, we have a lot going on coming up. Justin Willman, magician. I'm looking forward to talking to Justin once again. The Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. You feel like your brain is uh, getting in its own way, like you... Know what you should do, but what's good for you, but you just can't do it. And this is where therapy comes in. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of working against yourself. And better help is applying contemporary technology to the world of therapy. It's not some crazy 1984-like thing. It's just a really simple idea. How about hooking up with a therapist online? It starts by, you fill out a brief questionnaire, you'll get matched up with a licensed therapist. And by the way, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. And then the therapy itself is conducted online. So it can be done with a, like a Zoom call or a, a telephone call or even texting back and forth at your convenience. That's the key to this. You don't have to uh, get in the car, drive somewhere, sit down in a room, and it's all weird. No. Not with BetterHelp. Give it a shot. Make your brain your friend. BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today. Add that slash BT Show today to get 10% knocked off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. To get on your way to being your best self. And this portion of the Bob and Tom Show brought to you by BetterHelp. Once again, that's BetterHelp. Dot com slash BT Show. Coming up, magician Justin Willman. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, everybody. This is Mark Sweeney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, sign up now for week number five. Can you believe it? Of the NFL season, time's just flying by, but you can win yourself. Hello there. It's Ed from Ed Septic and Sewage. I'm here at this poor SOB's house. He got quoted $20,000 for a new system. I'm doing that same system for him. $500. I know what you're thinking. Ed, how can you do it so cheap? Well, first of all, this machine, stolen. That saves me a ton of money. Secondly, I'm not licensed or bonded. That saves me tens of thousands of dollars a year. So if you need a cheap septic, call me, Ed, Ed Septic, but they get hectic 
Call Lance Septic at the number below. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're going to paint that barn tonight. <laughs> oh, down beside the lantern light. Oh, you're going to finish all your chores, black bonnet girls. You make the Amish world go round. Yeah. <laughs> I was just an Amish boy, full of purity and joy. Dang well did I, was holier than me. Left alone with cousin Greta, what a naughty babysitter. Heathen woman, you made a Mennonite out of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know chicks who never curse, girls who know their Bible verse. On the farm, there ain't nothing like a good old Amish whore. <laughs> oh, you're gonna paint that barn tonight. Oh, down beside the lantern light. Oh, you're gonna finish all your chores like bunny girls. You make the Amish world go round. Yeah, like bunny girls, you make the Amish world go round. Tom 50. Oh, fantastic. the electric. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Did you ever? It was perfect. Britney Spears recently shocked the world with her latest fashion statement. Oh. A completely shaved head. Now, to commemorate Britney's new look, Bob and Tom Labs is proud to introduce their new perfume. Bald. B-A-L-D. Bald. A fragrance for today's unraveling woman. <laughs> She's kooky. She's crazy. 
and she's getting bald. <laughs> Tomorrow's my girlfriend's birthday, and she'll definitely be getting bald. <laughs> what woman wouldn't love to get bald? <laughs> my wife and I are celebrating. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. Josh Arnold's here. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's... Tom Griswold with a special guest. We're going to hook up with our guest in just a second. Right now, we are hooking back up with Christy Lee over at the Bob and Tom News Desk. What's happening? A Philadelphia beekeeper says a vacuum cleaner containing hundreds of hornets <laughs> was stolen from his truck. Hilarious. Don Shump, owner of Philadelphia Bee Company. Yes, I'm uh, Don Shump. <laughs> WPVI. BVI, uh, it's a television station I own. Oh, congratulations, Mr. Shump. You're <laughs> welcome. Thank you very much. That he siphoned hundreds of hornets in a shop vac while on a job in Malvern. He put the shop vac in the bed Malvern. of his pickup. Malvern. And intended to freeze the insects the following day. That was my intention, yeah. Why would he freeze the hornets? <laughs> well, you want a thawed hornet? I don't think he did. But it was stolen out of his truck overnight. Shump said there are hundreds of large, aggressive hornets inside the vacuum, oh. including queens. Boy, are they, oh, no. boy, are they aggressive. <laughs> he posted a warning to the thief on social media, writing, those girls should be full of life and extra spicy. Ooh. I anxiously await your unboxing video. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. It sounds like, remember that, um, who was the guy? Waylon Jennings used to do the, the voiceover on the Dukes of Hazard. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Does that sound like, well, uh, them boys opened up a vacuum full of full of hornets. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, it sounds like a folksy... Uh... Looks like the Duke boys are in trouble again. <laughs> yeah, they say, you're, they say one of the things you should never buy used is a vacuum cleaner. I've never heard that. Yeah, it's. I was reading some article. I can about imagine. It. Yeah. It's just the potential for awful things being in it. Well, mm. I guess. Well, they have those shops that refurbish. Hmm? Yeah, then you could get a refurbished yeah. vacuum cleaner, yeah. I will not. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do it, but I just... <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 you would. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. You'd save 20 bucks, you would. Yeah. I know you. <laughs> Ace turns it on, <laughs> and a bunch of hornets come flying out. <laughs> yeah, that'd be horrible. His face is all puffy. Well, I saved 20 bucks. I saved 20 bucks. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> a video of a mom in Mexico is going viral. She is seen bravely shielding her son from a hungry bear during the boy's birthday party. Oh, wait a minute. Happy birthday. Forget it. We got to check in with uh, oh, Justin Wilman. We'll I get think. back to this. Um, there he is. Look at that handsome man. Hi, Justin. Hello, Justin. Good morning. Hey, Justin. How you doing? Uh, good, good. I saw your uh, show uh, in Beaver Creek, Colorado. Not so long ago at the Vilar. Sure did. God, that was a great at show. At the Vilar Performing Arts Center. Yeah. Mm. I still can't. It was I, I, elevated. I, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't figure out anything you did. I loved it. It was terrific. <laughs> thank you. I mean, it was thank amazing. You. I was so honored that you came out. So thank you so much. Uh, oh, I recommend it to um, everybody. Now, it's my understanding, Justin, looking at this schedule, you're going to be this Friday night at the Brown Theater in Louisville. I'm going to be in Louisville. I can't wait. It's my first time ever there. Oh, cool! So uh, it's more at sea level than where you saw me, but I think the I think my magic powers still work. Yeah. Oh, I, we'll it, was, it was the best. I loved it. So did my little girls. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, then we you had a, some merch there. You had a dice trick that yep. uh, was on my kitchen table for about a year. <laughs> <laughs> you got to teach kids. You got to teach kids to gamble at a young age. They love. That's it. what I found. They had a great time. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, J yeah. Well, is, thank you. I'm excited to be coming back. Justin Good puts morning. on a great show. Hi, Josh. Hi, Chick. Hi. Hi, Christy. Hi, Josh. Hi, everybody. I watched your wedding Hi, video everybody. again the other day. I'm just stunned by that thing. I just love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, now you geez. have what? Two All kids. Right. I don't have the core work to do. Yeah, I do have two kids. Congratulations. Two kids sleeping upstairs right now. Can you okay. believe that? They're pretty cute. And they, they, they get along real nice. Aww. They're adorbs. There we go. They're really great. Um, but, but you know, hit, hitting, the, hitting the road, doing the tour, I've, I've realized something. And maybe, you know, maybe you noticed this when you came to see me perform is that there's two types of people who come to a magic show. There's people who love magic because they love to be amazed they don't want to know how the tricks work they just want to experience wonder and then the second group are the people the first group brought with them <laughs> <laughs> these are people who do not like not knowing how the tricks work they need to know which 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 group do you guys fall into oh i'm a don't want to know i don't want to know i don't want to know 
I after the show I kept going. Okay, how I want to know by God. I want to know what you're up to. I want to know who you're lying to. How did he get there? How did I he... want to know. You're just a liar. He's right? called you a liar oh, all morning. It's the best. I got such a and I love I'm it when sure. I love it when you think oh you, you reveal the trick and then that's not really the right answer. Uh -huh. Oh, you see the whole time I does had he a, have really have two kids? You don't machine. know. I don't know. You don't know. Does he really have two kids? Well, Chick, Chick's contention is that you are a, a, a con man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a flim flam artist. A ne'er do well. It's true, but Matt, it, it can be. It can be. It can be a beneficial art form. Here, if you pa if you practice that dice trick, you can get to the point where you get to the point where it just it just you know you're you're printing oh, money. Oh, you're just printing money. You are you're just printing money. See, see, he, see what he does. He just turned a deck of cards into money. See, why do you have to even go work in Louisville if you can make money out of cards? Yeah, decks? no joke. You are in league this with the devil. I printed this. Chick is on to me. He is on to me, indeed. He knows uh, it's fake. Uh, real quick, uh, Justin, uh, the, the schedule includes Louisville at the Brown Theater this Friday, Saturday, Nashville, Tennessee at the James K. Polk Theater. Lots of other stuff coming up. Jimmy Polk. In, uh, including Columbus, <laughs> yeah. Ohio next year. You're going to be in Albany. You're, you're going to be all over the place. It's the best. Yes, you you know it. You know it. I can't wait. I'm very, 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 very excited. Uh, I could, you know, since you saw the show, you kind of know how it feels when I pull the rug out from people. I could I could share that with everyone else if that's, if okay, that's not right here. Um, okay. This is this is this is one of my favorites. Now, Chick, you're cl you're clearly the skeptic of the group. Oh is yes, that's, that's me. Oh, is yeah. that my I'm far assessment? too intelligent to be taken in by magic. By a flim flam man. That's right. So. I brought something for you here. See, God right. knows what he's doing over there. God knows. It looks like a box oh, on a stool. It's a box on a stool. Yeah. Okay. I got a box for you, Chick. Okay. Chick, yeah. you need to tell me something there's no way I could know. And you tell me if that's, is that your first crush okay. as a young lad? Is that your favorite teacher as a kid? What's something that is not Wikipedia-able uh, oh, that gosh. you could tell me? Um, favorite teacher, go ahead. My favorite teacher? Yeah. Okay, my favorite teacher. Yeah, I've got. I've, you want me to tell? Who was it? Uh, Mrs. Hildebrand. Mrs. Hildebrand. Mm -hmm. She sounds like a great teacher. Hildebrand. H i l d e b r a n d. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, see, see. How did he know that? How did he you know that? How did you know that? Mm -hmm. Do you even know her first name? Uh, I do. Yes. Should I share that? Do. You, yeah. Joyce. Mm. Joyce, J O Y C E. Now yes. this is good. Yes, There's sir. no way I could know this. No, right? absolutely. You haven't not. spoken about her on the air lately at all. Uh, I no? don't think I've ever no. given Certainly her. Certainly not the first name. Her her first name. No. Hmm. Joyce Hildebrand. Now here's what's amazing. Okay. I am in my kitchen in yes, Studio City, California. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. I'm I'm at a distance. There's no way I could know about Joyce Hildebrand. No, you could. No. <laughs> in my kitchen. Yeah. You're about to witness the reunion. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Joyce Hildebrand. <laughs> now that would have been interesting. <laughs> that would have been, been, been a good that, trick. Well, I got my hopes up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she's. Uh oh. She's. Where, where does she live? Do you know? Uh, just outside of uh, London, Ohio, in in, in Central oh. Ohio. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you're going to find this quite interesting. Oh, so I didn't bring, bring her here. Okay. He just, he yeah, it inside the box. That's right. Yeah. Listeners, there's a box on the stool. And yeah, inside the box is a prediction. The box. Yeah. But before the show, I placed a sheet of paper. <laughs> oh, my God. And always hold the brand in it. It doesn't what? make any sense. Wait a minute. It's, he, it's, it's I, printed out. Joyce. I have no idea how brand. you've done this. <laughs> what? That's amazing. It doesn't well, that's make the any thing. sense. That, that, no. <laughs> It doesn't make any and that's what you always say. I don't know if yeah. you know what you say when you watch magic, but it's often a, it doesn't make any sense. And that's the beautiful thing. That's why you need to stop trying to figure it out. You don't want to know how the trick works. You don't want to yes. know how I I know your, magic's like hot dogs. That's what I'm here to say today. Because oh, the more you, you know, know what, the yeah. harder it is to swallow. You don't want to know how it's made. Thank you. And to prove that's, my point, yes. I, will show you. Yeah. I will show you how it works. Okay. okay. I'll show you how it works here. He's taking the, the box secret, off. of course, listeners, is a wireless Bluetooth <laughs> printer. <laughs> Now, there's a printer in the box. There's a printer now, on top of the less, stool. That's hilarious. Far less impressive. That's a beautiful print, now, by the way. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Now, yeah. does that boost your respect for the craft? Or <laughs> your craft? <laughs> no, you're, you're uh, quite the showman. You, uh -huh. uh, yeah. He's that's so it. great. Yeah, huh? that's beautiful. It's yeah. amazing. This, that's this is the this is the thing. As as uh, as we were hearing, sometimes it's nice to be let in, but you you really don't. You want to think you know how it's done, but you don't really want to be told. That's right. why. That, that's why. That's why. Check it. This, this is not even a printer. Oh, oh my god! What? The printer is a piece of paper. Holy hell! Printed. Okay, that's he's the greatest trick. 
That's the greatest trick I've ever seen. Pat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> the trick in the world. Joyce, wow. Joyce. There Hilda it is. Brand. Out of thin air. Um, now, it's chicks, the right behind okay. you in studio. If you look, oh. you'll you'll see her. Here she is, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, I looked. By okay, the way. Justin, <laughs> Justin Wilman, I it puts on the most delightful show I've seen in years. I highly recommend it. Brown Theater, Louisville, Kentucky, this Friday. Do not miss it. I got the chills when he crumbled up the print. So yeah, did I. Yeah. <laughs> just insanely yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. And Thank I, you, Justin. And I, uh, you're also on Cameo. Wow. You did a nice Cameo for my daughter, uh, by the way, a couple years oh, ago. Oh, I did. That was so fun. What a weird time yes, those times was. were. And it was so nice to be able to connect with people. So thank you, guys. And I know, are you, let me ask you this. Are you uh, beyond uh, live performance? Are you doing any other? things uh, uh, oh yeah the uh, ne the netflix uh, magic for humans yeah netflix you know show, for the yeah. past year and a half i've been working on this new netflix show because uh I, I did three seasons of magic for humans which is a blast mm -hmm. and the thing that makes that show uh consistent is that everyone i do magic for on that show knows i'm a magician which is kind of this safe space like nobody nobody gets too caught off guard because if anything crazy happens they say oh he's a magician don't worry but uh, I wanted to do a new show where essentially I do magic only for people who do not know I'm a magician. Because if you if you saw somebody in half on stage, it's a magic trick. People are like, wow, that's amazing. But if I saw somebody in half in a Home Depot parking lot <laughs> and I'm just some dude, <laughs> it's a different, it hits yeah. different. Yeah. So basically I've been, I've been making this magic prank show where I help people oh. prank Oh. Their loved ones who okay. have it coming for a good reason. <laughs> it's kind of like it's almost like a ma it's like a magic intervention show. Oh. You know, helping helping someone's boyfriend see yeah. what it feels like to be in the car with a bad driver like him, or oh. helping someone stop being a ghoster. And uh, so we'll see. Either I'm bringing people together or driving them further apart. TBD. Oh. Okay. And let me just say this: when I saw Justin's uh, live show. Uh, at the end, uh, it was a standing ovation. People leapt from their seats. They were so delighted. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm giving to hit this. the slopes again. Uh, <laughs> yes, we were, we were all going to go skiing. <laughs> but man, it is it is so fun. You know, as you as I'm sure you know, uh, it is hard to find a, a a show that you can bring every person in your family to. So that's kind of what I'm most proud of is in this in this magic for humans in person tour. It's a show that you can bring your eight year old to or your eighty year old to and everyone in between. That's and then great. Do you find, I, at least in my case. Yeah, my my little at the time five year old was going. I know how he did that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, five year old com completely baffled. Um, oh, I know how he did that. That's a that's a numbers what trick. Kind of, what kind of theories were you getting? Oh, I know how he did that math. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, this one, Joyce Hildebrand. I know I did that magic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, the, 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 the finale was wrong. absolutely incredible. I, it was just amazing. I, I can't recommend Thank anything you. more than seeing Justin. Hey, thanks for your time. We appreciate it, Justin. Just wonderful, Justin. My Thank pleasure. You. Yes. Thank Glad you. The, it's great to see you know, all of you. Glad you the too. family's doing well. Yes. And would you please Thank schedule? You. Would you Thank please you. schedule they're, Beaver they're Creek for early January? Beaver Creek early January. Um, you you got it. Do you, you think you would ever do a? Uh, I'm sorry. Do you think you would ever do a residency show somewhere and stay in one place for a while? You know, I did that in LA for about a year, and I, I liked it at first. But I kind of like. There's something about. I don't think it's the travel that I like because that that is frustrating. But it's it's performing in a different place for a different. You know, a di every city is a different kind of vibe. There's sure. just some little secret sauce that I just yeah. love. Kind of. Learning how to crack that lock at the beginning of each show. Like, what's how do I get inside their heads, their heads, their heads? And I think when I'm in the same place, it kind of feels like the same, the same challenge every night. Oh, a little, 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 yeah. Christy, little diminished. Christy got me thinking about something uh, in in Beaver Creek. Um, although I was not high. Uh, there are that is a, a one place where one can get the legal reefer, if you will. <laughs> oh. uh, d d d d earlier in your career, did you find yourself playing like in comedy clubs? And were there a lot of stoners? And are stoners a good audience for magic? <laughs> or do they start throwing up? They're scared. Oh my God, it's the devil. <laughs> you know, it's. I would say drunks are a tougher audience. Drunks are, have the confidence to heckle. Stoners are a little easier to fool. Like stoners, you, you can do the old thumb off trick. And you hit him. What the hell are you doing? And they're, and they're, and they're, Holy hell! How does he do it? You know, drunks drunks behave like kids at a birthday party when they're when they're put in that position. Stoners are a great are a great audience. I could go for hours. Okay. So, well, you're amazing to everybody. If you want to, yes. if you want to partake in the reefer and see a magic show, I, I'm your guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Justin. Oh, what a great. Just guy. terrific. Thank you very Thanks. much. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks for getting Thank up early. Guys.
Yeah, I'll be thinking about that all day. How did he do that? What if he just crumbled himself just now when he worked? Yeah. I could. He I was a piece of paper. So <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, what a that, great trick. That was nuts. How did he do that? Even know. on the radio, it worked. I don't know. Don't you love it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something else. And now is your teacher still with us? Uh, yes. Oh, good. Okay, That's good. wonderful. That would have been a real trick. Yeah. <laughs> I would have fainted if a lady would have walked in here. Like, Chick, it's so good to see you. What the hell's going on? I don't know anything. How are things in the afterlife? <laughs> I'd be in the ER. Your legs upside down. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. Do you get to wear street clothes in the afterlife? What's going on? Oh, my God. Do yourself a favor. Check it out on YouTube tonight. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Ace. Yeah, you can check out the... Yeah, Ace. God, that was great. Great. Ace, what did you think of that? Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 That was yeah. really something. I certainly enjoyed that. Uh, now, um, uh, we turn back to the news desk. We have time for one more quick story, Christy Lee. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, we got to get back to our lady that, if you have not seen this video, it's incredible. Miss Elvia Marcos traveled to a park on the outskirts of Monterey, Mexico, to celebrate the birthday of her son, Santiago. Soon after they sat down to eat... A bear appeared and jumped on their picnic table. <laughs> Video shows Miss Macias holding Santiago to her chest and shielding his eyes while the pair sit motionless just inches away from the animal as it gobbles french fries, enchiladas, tacos, and salsa. A friend tossed an enchilada off into the distance and the bear eventually retreated quietly. Macias said she did not consider herself a hero, just a mother who protected her cub. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah. The the bear's right there. It's right there. And their motion, I mean, she doesn't breathe. Hmm. Would you like a burrito? <laughs> a burrito. <laughs> oh, no. A burrito. Uh. Is that right? <laughs> Tammy, are you sick? <laughs> Our things in They're... the produce. To... Oh, my God. <laughs> nice callback. I wish Hooker were here to hear that. Not any hooker, just just hooker. Uh, that is really terrifying. Yeah, that would be terrifying. No, I think it would be a run. Show? So I have a question. Well, I don't know what. See, you never know. Yeah, exactly. Brown see, bear, you run. Black the, bear, you sit still. I never know. What was troubling to me about this was someone's holding that camera. Right. And they're right there. Yes. I hmm. mean, it, is it best to just do nothing, or would it, the smart thing be to do to drop the camera and 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 rush the bear? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what you do. They got lucky. Wasn't it a cub? It was a cub, right? Yeah. It wasn't it a was Yeah, it was a See, small that, bear. Not, I, but that would even be scarier because there's exactly. a mom somewhere. That means, yeah, if mama right. bear likes French Ooh. fries. <laughs> right. Seeing a bear in the woods would be scary. Seeing a cub in the woods would be terrifying. Especially two inches from your face. <laughs> because, oh, come here, little baby. Yeah. Oh. Let me get a selfie with, oh, is that your mother? <laughs> Can you see oh. that? Yeah, it's a big, it's still big. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. big enough. Boy, they're just sitting there they, like, uh, She is literally, thing. and she doesn't want her little boy to see it because she doesn't want the boy to go, bear. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a good meal. Have you seen it, Chick? There I'm surprised is. that, you know, that, that's another thing that bugged me. Jess, let me see if I can. It, there were French fries. Uh-huh. Like so, uh, like, Del, like uh, Del Taco used to. You could get fries at Del Taco. This mm -hmm. is when, this is in Mexico, though. Near Santiago, they had tacos, yeah, salsa, yeah. enchiladas, yeah. and, it's and called French fries. Tom. Papa's fritas? Yeah. You have to uh, wear, wear a coat when you're in Santiago. <laughs> Why is that? It's, it's, it's chilly. chilly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Uh Mrs. Uh, Hildebrand, so proud. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, um, uh, Mrs. Hildebrand would enjoy hearing this story from you. You can call her from your beautiful home. Right. And I sure can. And, and the uh, comfort and security of my compound with my Simply Safe do it yourself, design it yourself home security system. And now Simply Safe has a home monitoring innovation. They call it 24 7 lifeguard protection, designed to help stop crime in real time. If an intruder breaks into your home now, Simply Safe professional monitoring agents can actually see, speak to, and deter them through Simply Safe's new smart alarm wireless indoor camera, stopping them in their tracks. 24 7 lifeguard protection is made possible by the new smart alarm wireless indoor camera, available with Fast Protect Monitoring Plan. It's the only indoor security camera that can trigger the alarm and instantly deter intruders with a built in siren. You can install it your way, do it yourself in about 30 minutes, or you can have a Simply Safe expert set it up for you. Either way, it's easy to protect your home and compound. For a limited time, get 20% off your new system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Visit SimplySafeTom.com today. That's SimplySafeTom.com. And remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. When we come back, 
We're going to find out a little bit about what's going on in the world on this date. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Tim has his guitar out. Are you See, play I hate something? Florida. Huh, why? Well, I well you're from Georgia. Georgia. That's Georgia why. Georgia people hate Florida. Why? why? Because we grew up our whole lives wanting to go to Florida. Put a float on top of the car. Oh, my God, we're going to Florida. <laughs> Drive four hours. Get there. Do you have a hotel room? Yeah, they're $100. Uh-huh. Unless you want to be near the water. Wow. Then they're four hundred dollars. <laughs> no, we don't want to be near the water. We want to sit in a hot ass asphalt parking lot with a float on top of the car and finish up these pecan logs we got in Valdosta. <laughs> <laughs> so then a hurricane comes, they evacuate back to Georgia. Oh my God, do you have a hotel room? Yeah, they're a hundred dollars. Unless you want to be away from the water. <laughs> <laughs> It's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. (laughs) Is that where you go? Are we eligible? part of the team that launched the first, the first low salt, low sugar peanut butter into the category. It was called Simply Jif. It was targeted towards diabetics. I wanted to call it type two peanut goo. But... <laughs> yeah, of course you don't feel good, Greg. You ate an entire rotisserie chicken at 1130 at night. You shoved the whole thing in your fat face in six minutes, Greg. I think he ate the rubber band that holds a legs together. I mean, come on. My birth certificate? That document is 54 years old. I also don't have the Declaration of Independence. Because I don't know if you've ever seen an organic peanut butter kid go off the deep end. <laughs> it is not pretty. OK, these kids. They spend 18 years eating it, then they go off to college. They have one bite of a Jif sandwich. Six weeks later, they're passed out on a park bench with Nutter Butters all over their face. It's a- Good to see you guys. Uh, what are you going to play? I'm going to play so many roads. Here we go. Okay.
Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. <laughs> Thursday on ABC. <laughs> Ye be thar. <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Actor and comedian Jim Gaffigan is here with us. Oh, that guy is funny. He's Yay. very funny. He's great. I'm a big fan of his. We were talking oh, about your, this. your great love of food. <laughs> yes. I, that's exactly what I was going to ask him. When and you're in the refrigerator, I know, didn't you say that you were a vegetarian? So I'm not, I'm not a, a strict vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I, I eat beef and pork. <laughs> <laughs> and, and chicken, but, but not fish because that's disgusting. Sure. <laughs> How can you tell when fish goes bad? It smells like fish either way. Well, yeah. oh. oh, this smells like a dumpster. Let's eat it. Yeah. I can't believe we're still serving fish with the heads on there. Oh yeah. Don't you always feel like that eyes looking at you like, hey, hey you don't mind if I watch me eat my body? <laughs> Yeah, don't be distracted. A little tear comes out. You can just tell yourself it's butter. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What if a fish was listed? Eyebrow dandruff. That's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> Is that a thing? I'm not proud of it. There was, why would you, why would you bring that up on the air? That's I didn't. <laughs> It was, Christy did, it was said in oh, confidence off sorry. the air. Yeah. Don't ever say eyebrow dandruff in front of a potential lover. Oh. oh, okay. oh no. Hey, look, ladies, if I'm on top, you might get sprinkled on. <laughs> well, let it snow. Well, you're on top. Well. Yeah. I'll just let everybody else finish that. Oh, I see. Oh. If you're on top, you got about eight, eight seconds to live. Is that it? I wouldn't say eight. If you're on top, Godspeed to your ribs, ladies. <laughs> is that what we're getting at? Hi, this is Paul. And this is Storm. And we're Paul and Storm. Boy. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin. Hello, Chick. He's over there in the performance room. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Ace Cosby's over there. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Very straightforward question for you, Josh. Yes, please. It comes to us uh, from uh, Hayden. Hi, Hayden. Hayden. What fishing show do you watch, Josh? Oh, uh, I'll get on Bassmaster.com and watch uh, uh, some of the live events there. But uh, Saturdays and Sundays, but mostly Saturdays, the Discovery Channel will show the Major League Fishing tournaments. Ah. So I watch Major League Fishing. And it's got to be uh, better because back in the day when they would do those, they'd have to just burn through all that film. Yeah. <laughs> These days, at least they can just click but they're still sitting there for eight hours to get 30 seconds of good <laughs> well, but, they're, but they're not just sitting there they're fishing no I, yeah but you know what i mean if you're the no, camera if you're the you. camera guy okay well i'm no i'm rolling it's I, great they've got drones now so you can see a bunch of and then, and then of course the cameras on you know if they have 10 uh anglers they'll have cameras on five of the boats and yeah it's great Do you ever watch the um Saltwater fishing shows? I don't care for those as much, but yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. How about that monsters guy, the river monsters? I like that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. That yeah. guy's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah, some that catfishing with your arm. Is that Didn't river they catch like a 35-foot anaconda in the Amazon yeah, some last week? Insane. Yeah. Well, they literally are monsters in those yeah. rivers. Yeah. It's no. terrifying. Um, time now to uh, review what's happening. Time now for today. In history, October 3. Okay, hang on a second. Living oh. in infamy. Here we go. This is a good one. Yeah, I'll see about that. Run this one by Ace. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, 1863, proclaimed what holiday, Ace? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the right answer. Ooh. Now, some say he was in the pocket of Big Turkey. Yeah. That is, uh, <laughs> you know. There's a darker conspiracy. You know, hey, but come on. <laughs> they, wanted, they wanted the turkey to be the uh, the national bird. That was, uh, Wasn't that, was that Ben Franklin? Yeah. yeah. They yeah. lost out. Wow. The eagle, um, uh, more elegant. Oh, much sure. more. More stately. Yes. Or flying on Friday. More majestic, right? but numbers-wise, uh, I think Ben's turkey. Sure. 1913, October 3, the federal income tax signed into law by President Woodrow Wilson. Thanks for nothing, Woody. Thanks, Woody. Woodrow. <laughs> Way to go, uh, Woody. It's, I imagine it was significantly less than it is now. Boy. Uh, here's, okay, Josh, this there is There were brief. stickers of Wilson everywhere pointing, and it said, I did that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 1941, this movie premiered. Um, your hint is uh, Gunsel. 
1941? Gunsel. 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 What word is that? Gunsel. Gunsel. That's someone's, someone's name? Yeah. Huh. It's, a, it's, a, uh, it's an underground insult back in the day. Huh? What? It sounds familiar, but I don't. Um, uh, how do I feel the, like this is there something was, you'll get? Uh, the fat man was in it. Oh. 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 Um, Maltese Falcon. Maltese Falcon is the correct answer. You know, I've never seen it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah whatever, you, whatever you say, Mr. Spade. I've yeah. never seen that movie either. Oh, it's great. I've always wanted to read it first, so I guess I should just watch it. Are you Falcon or Falcon? I would say the Maltese Falcon. I would, too. Falcon. Okay. And yeah. Falcon Crest. If you're snotty, I think you say Falcon. Well, it's, a, it's a great movie. Is it better than The Falcon and the Snowman? Oh, uh, that's good. You too. know, that's a good movie. <laughs> okay. Don't sleep on the Falcon and the Snowman. Yeah, I agree <laughs> with you. Was that Sean um, Penn and uh, Tim Hutton, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good uh, movie. You know, how, you know how they caught that guy, by the way? The Falcon or the in, Snowman? In real life. They, they caught him because he was an av avid runner and they tracked down the track shoes that he bought. How about that? Well, you that? know, the Snowman actually went on to uh, help uh, get a case of Coors from here to Texarkana. In oh, you're thinking hours. of. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that's the bandit. Oh, is it, the bandit it the wasn't snowman. Smokey yeah, and the Snowman. Very good. Oh. Uh, that would have been a whole different movie. 1957, um, Allen Ginsberg's famous poem, Howl, ruled not obscene. Oh. You ever do that? You ever go to a howl? Do you ever celebrate with all your your bohemian buddies out there in the woods, no, uh, half no, naked, screaming really. at us? I had a class. We had to read it all out loud. Oh. Is that right? It's got the yeah. F word in it. Yeah. I didn't hate it. Hmm. Was it fun reading the F word in front of your principal? I didn't. It was uh, in college, and I did oh. not. I did not read the excerpt that had the F word in it. Okay. Um, the Andy Griffith Show premiered. Conversely, uh, 1960 on this date. Oh. Um, he won. Um, Don Knotts won five Emmys. Did you know that? Uh, she deserved every one. 1961, the Dick Van Dyke Show premiered. Ah. I remember where I was when I first heard the term Dyke Van Dick. And, uh, <laughs> really. <laughs> I was sitting right thought, here just now. Thought I, uh, thought I. Isn't that uh, a product now? Never, I never stopped laughing. <laughs> <laughs> isn't isn't Dyke Van Dyke some kind? Dyke Van Dyke is comes a, with is a belt. A, yeah. Okay. Uh, you got to secure it. One of my favorite shows. Oh, well. Mr. Ed premiered in the state oh. of 1960. Never, not for one second. A funny. Hilarious. Show. Never. never. If a horse could talk, he'd probably say, "Get your fat ass off my back, Ringo." That's why you still love animals that <laughs> talk, who, isn't who it? Came it's all up because with, of Mr. Ed. He's the only one he talks in front of, though. Uh, yeah. Even better. That was yeah. the key. That was the yeah. key to the whole show. There's, isn't there a fan theory that he was insane? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because he was ignoring his wife, you know, torpedo uh, yeah, just tango. Just a bra on her? Holy okay, hell. Happy... Why did they wear bras like that anyway back know. then? Weird. That Weird. had to hurt. Time now for today. There were things we learned today. Comical breasts. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Chubby Checker. By the way, Chubby Checker is a word that's the worst job at an all-male gay conversion <laughs> summer camp. <laughs> <laughs> You're the chubby checker. Oh, well, uh, yeah, this, this year I'm the chubby <laughs> checker. I just wondered. Yep. His anus is still intact. If you wore those bras all the time, Josh, were your boobs stay like that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, come Bizarre. on. Uh, Pat Godwin debuted his hair today. Yay! After his haircut. He, Own it. Uh, to rave reviews. Yeah. Looks great. Looks uh, like we that's smelled over to We had one nays there. Oh, Jesus, and you're going to lay on that no, all no, day? No, I'm kidding. Uh, Jets-Chiefs game with uh, Taylor at the uh, at the Met Live, 27 million viewers. Uh, um, uh, atmospheric ratings. Um, Swiftomania in full effect. Tom has cow tissue in his heart, yet he still drinks cream in his coffee. <laughs> Just asking for trouble. Um, <laughs> human skulls were used for cups. We yeah. found that out. So badass. They think they think that a, a primitive version of man used. How do they uh, keep the water from falling out of the eye holes? <laughs> yeah. you, gotta hold it, you gotta hold it just right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick. Yeah. And they apparently were using human bones as tools. Yes. Uh, no Powerball winner. One point four billion dollar lottery for uh, Wednesday's draw. I'm waiting. For what? One point six. <laughs> 1.2 wouldn't change your life. <laughs> no. Uh, and Tom, for some reason, wanted to play Louie Louie by a, a marching band all morning. I don't know why that happened. Because it's Louie Louie Day coming up. And there it is. This kicks in. Listen to this arrangement. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And if you're singing, you don't really have to know the words. You can fake them all. Thank you very much. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Think you know your pro football? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at bobandtom.com slash contest. It's your chance to win a Minimax Big Green Egg. This is the Bob and Tom Show.